Try to meet someone new, but they can't compare. And I know that I'm being a bit unfair, but you're the only one that's in my heart. I can't deny that I miss you, and I know that you miss me too. So let's get over our issues and go back to me, bless you. I know that things were perfect, but I think it's worth it. Nobody knows you like I do I can't deny that I miss you I miss you Let's go back to me plus you Up the east side, what about me? It's all lies. If you want good, change your mind. Yeah, don't want to intimidate, but more than just conversate. Don't want it to be too late. Yeah, he only yeah, likes her I'm because she's old. She's probably like 25. That's 4.11111 one, 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 baby. Be shy. See the curiosity in your eyes Come a little closer, babe I don't, I don't buy Yo, what is good, everybody? Hello, hi, and happy Sunday. It's late! I'm sorry, it's late. Things were busy today. I had to do some personal stuff. I had to hang out with uh, Morgan's parents for a little bit today. Morgan's mom had a, uh, she's part of one of the local community choirs and we went to go see her perform, which was really nice. It was very, very nice. Um, and then uh, I just had like a bunch of crap I had to do all day. I have to get ready, I had to get ready for a upcoming uh, voice acting role that I have 
tomorrow. I have to do a, a recording session tomorrow. So I'm trying to save my voice, which I don't know how well that's going to go tonight, seeing as how I have to either play a horror game or a rage game. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out with all of you, I guess. But it's nice to have everyone here. Hello, hi. Thank you so much for joining. It's Sunday, 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 Sunday. So true. Thank you to everybody for joining. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Able to catch a stream? Wild. I miss you all. Uh, sure, you're going to steal my voice and put it in a little jar. Very Ursula coded of you. Um, thank you everybody for joining. McManiac, thank you for the 37 months with Prime. Appreciate that. I know you only get one of those a month. Thank you for using that here. Um, that's 4.11111 babies. I love that, like, all math around babies is, like, fucking weird, right? <laughs> it's like, we, we uh, divide everything by nine to, like, you know, it, that's, like, a baby in the brain of society. But then also, then you have, like, moms who are like, that's my baby. They're 38 years old, or 38 months old. And it's like, ma'am, that's like, a, you can just say they're three. They're a three-year-old. It's okay. It's just, like, everything's, like cut up into months with babies it's weird <laughs> what can i say i got the dog in me and by dog i mean evil squid my dog is courage the cowardly dog that's the dog in me courage the cowardly dog paved the way for the amount of anxiety that i he have within me centennial she's thank you so much for the 42 20. months it's oh, nice that you can catch a stream it's nice to have you here hannah thank you for the 42 as well oh my she's god some big 20. big Big giant resubs tonight. Thank three, you, three, Hannah. Three, three, Hell yeah, three, indeed. Three oh my god. Stop with the baby math. This is weird. This is weird. Thank you so much, Melanie, for the 20 months with Prime. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, can we get a little bit of hype and pride? Also, kicking off a hype train. Oh my gosh. Everybody has been so kind recently. Thank you for all of the support on the channel. It's been nice to see the channel grow a little bit. Um, get us closer to those sub goals, that kind of thing. Everyone's been so generous and awesome. We smashed the charity goal in record time this year. It's it's kind of wild. Um, but hello, hi. Let me let me get on screen. Let me uh, say hello to a couple people here. Sorry. By the way, if you're not seeing the new animated emote, Gerb Love, me with little heart hands like I do at the end of every stream, uh, made by Slade. Thank you so much, Slade. Your work is incredible, and uh, people more people need to commission you because you do just, like, incredible work. Bree V, uh, quick save kit. Yo, what's up? Welcome. Juba, hello. Ami, what's good? How we doing, Ouija Peaches? Little Hellion, hey, nice to see you again. Mouse, what's good? So good to see you. Petty, how we doing, Darth Petty? Amanda, hello. Hi, everyone. Liz, so nice to see you here. Welcome on in. Ivy, what's good? Hello, Melanie. Hello, Jacob. Tay, always nice seeing you. Betty, hello, hello. Thank you so much, everybody. Join in. Ass lover, what's good? Slade, hello. Shark, hello. Good to see everybody. Oh my god, little hell and chicken nuggets out of the air fryer. Air fryer is the only way I do those anymore. Jules, what's up? Pineapple, hello. McManiac, hello again. Thank you so much again for the continued support. How we doing, everybody? Nice to have y'all here. Um, I'm catching up on chat. Thank you, Amy, by the way, for the 35 stream streak. That is a really high streak. Thank you very much. Sloth, what's good? Nice to have you here. Hello, hello. Talia, so nice to have you here. Welcome. Thank you again, Hannah. Thank you again, Melanie, for those big resubs. Streamer Hunter, hello. Hi. Real. So real. Always. You know how it is here. We keep it real. The dog in me is Bingo Healer. Okay, that's fair. I love Bluey and all of the characters. Uh, help me, there's nerds in my home playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> it can't be stopped. You literally can't stop Magic the Gathering. Um, anytime there's a get together with that, it's just like you have to accept it. It's like a slow creeping infection. It gets every nerd eventually. <laughs> there's some crossover everywhere. Yo, what's up, Austin? How we doing? Yamanaka, hello, hi, welcome on in. It's good to have everyone join in. Pineapple, thank you for the three streams in a row. Someday I'll actually get to double digits. Maybe if my schedule isn't as absolutely whack as it's been, maybe you'll get there. We'll see. We shall see. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you being here, everybody. Tito, 
what's good sorry again for the late start everyone it's really good to see so many familiar names so many people rolling on through get some gerb love going in the chat oh my god so many so many little gerb loves it's so cute it's such a good emote i love it i love it i love that it's like um you know it it's a little bit slower than some other animated emotes out there but i love that because you get to really see like the little me hold it up there like you, you it's not just like a quick like fast thing it's like a no bam holding that shit before i bring it down i love also how the expression changes so girly pop isn't it so cute it's even got my it's hard to tell because it's so small here on twitch but it does even have my little earring which i thought was a great detail who up loving their gerb right now <laughs> gross great lady hello i want to try and be active in chat but in case i'm not it's because i've been having a very bad brain day i'm so sorry to hear that um i i listen you've been here long enough we are a-okay with lurkers here you contribute to you know the growth of my channel by just hanging out uh you know pushing me up the algorithm uh with the ccv average going up because you're hanging out here and i appreciate you for that um, if you got to protect, protect your energy, protect your peace. I will never, ever be mad at someone who has to prioritize themselves if they're feeling yucky or anything. So thank you for being here at all. Uh, it ain't going to give you a strong by being violent. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, this is so girly pop. Yeah, isn't it cute? I love it. I really, really love it. Everyone say thank you to Slade for the really amazing work. Thank you very, very much, Slade. Uh, I have a couple more emote, like, animated emote slots I have to fill still, so. And then I think I was going to swap out Gerb emote with, like, what was it? It was going to be, like, Gerb mommy or something. I'm going to figure it out. Thank you. Oh, my God, Hannah. Thank you for that last second uh, gifted sub to, <laughs> to that username. Uh, if that username happens to be here, make sure that you're saying thanks to Hannah. Enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. What a name. <laughs> Thank you very, very much to everybody who contributed to that. Riley, what's good? Hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Thank you to everyone joining on in. We have some really interesting gifted sub usernames here in the community. That's all I gotta say. It's been wild. You won't say the username? Not this time, okay? Even I have my limits. Actually, mainly it's just because, like, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just... I have to I have to prep for whatever chaos happens tonight. If you are unaware of what's going to be happening tonight, why don't you say the name for anyone who's not looking no, at the screen back. right now? Oh god, back. Hannah, it's so great to have you back here. <laughs> thank you for uh, thank you for gifting a sub to Cream of Men Soup. Cream of Men Soup, if you happen to be here, please enjoy those emotes and sub badges. Um, which I know you've actually gotten several of. You've probably no, evolved into, that. like, at least a silver Eevee at this point that? because of Hannah and other people in this community. Thank you so much. Hannah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for gifting us up to Brian Longlegs. Oh, God. that's That one is almost worse because it's, like, my name, but it's my first name spelled wrong. It's like my first and last name, but it's like my first name spelled wrong. And then like the idea of like me with longer legs is like, I don't know, creeps me out. 13 months of cream of men's soup. Wait, cream of men's soup no, is a freaking fat. Jolteon badge, that they means. They have the, uh, the one plus year badge. <laughs> Hannah, thank you so much for uh, gifting us up to Gerbigli is a furry. I will let let the record show that is fake news, um, but I hope that it, that that proud uh, sub badge holder enjoys the sub badge and the emotes for the one month that they will have those. Lats, thank you so much for the hundred bits as well. What the heck? Thank you, everybody. He only likes her because Say she's Say oh, thank you so much for the fifteen months. Thank you for using this Prime here. Is so fun and supportive. What I'm the so heck? Happy to have found it. Well, I'm so glad that you feel welcome here and supported. I appreciate you being here. Uh, my brain is already getting fried by whatever the hell's happening here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. This is a really late start. Even for a selfish Sunday, this was a late start for me. So thank you for hanging out. Thanks for showing up at all. Brian, would your first time <laughs> be a vehicle? 
Um, honestly, out of any of the animals that, uh, in the past I, I had an obsession with when I was a kid, it'd either be, like, a wolf or a fox, but I don't have a fursona. Uh, yo, yeah, what's up, Andromixus? Welcome to the stream. Oh my god. Hannah, you're grounded, okay? Uh, Alright, if, if you haven't been here for me grounding someone before, when I ground someone, it means that you have to, if you're gonna do nice things for me, you have to tell me something nice you've done for yourself. Thank you so much, Hannah, for the gifted sub to eat candles, which is not a command, by the way. That is simply a terrible username, okay? Hell yeah, noted. First Sona stream. I have a, uh, listen, I, I think it was like two years ago or something, I uh, went to my parents' house and I found a picture. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I found a picture I made in, I think, I think middle school of a wolf guy that I drew. And I, oh yeah, here it is. Guys, how did I avoid becoming a furry? How did, how did I avoid becoming a furry? That is not that's normal that's not normal. That's like there's some there's like a lot of abs here. There's like a lot there's a lot of ab work. Beast mo beast mo baby. This dude looks mean. He's mean mugging. Streamer Hunter, thank you so much for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes and sub badge and ad free viewing experience. Thank you so, so much for vibing. Beast Mo, baby! Quite the shading. Thank you. I think I was like 12. <laughs> I was strong. Very strong. Brick house abs. <laughs> Truly. That's literally furry art. He's, yeah, he's like wearing a loincloth. It looks like the wolf in all the memes where like the wolf is ripping off his shirt, like the werewolf ripping off his shirt. <laughs> he's jacked. Oh my God. What's up, French? How we doing? French Vale, good to see you here. Thank you. Altered beast. <laughs> I love that image. Or it's like the, what, what, wait, what is that meme even? I just saw it yesterday. Like, what is the- there, there's one really funny freaking caption on it. Of the wolf ripping off their shirt. And it's- it's like a ripped, absolutely ripped wolf character like that. And then there's the one where they're like sitting, looking out, like sad. Alpha Brian, stop! <laughs> do not, do not. <laughs> oh my god, Hannah, thank you so, so much! What the heck? $25 for the kids as well. I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much for supporting the kids and families of St. Jude. Helping change and save lives. Thank you very much. I'll put a sticker on my face right now for you. Petition for Alpha Brian. No, God. We already have the cosplay picked out. We're fine. We're okay. Little Hellion, thank you for the seven-month resub, by the way. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Born to blank, forced to blank. That's one of the, the uh, formats I've seen with that image. There's another one where they're just like, I don't know. They just, it's so funny. It makes me laugh every time. Um, yo, Hannah, thank you so much for another gift. <laughs> Jesus, God. Why is that a username? Was that just made? Did someone just make that for the meme or did that exist already? Is there a streamer named Alpha Brian? There's so many mysteries. There's so many, this is like we're going down into an anthill. There's so many branching tunnels thank you for gifting a sub to alpha brian banned me i'm, I'm <laughs> i haven't even started playing the game i haven't even explained tonight's stream to anybody yet <laughs> wolf ripping off shirt with the text like yeah i was born in 65 i'm from kentucky that's my truck yeah and stuff like that is it gets me every time just the picture of the wolf ripping off their shirt so funny Created August 7th, 2021. That's... Yo, the internet was a mistake. Why did I decide to make a living on the internet? Oh my gosh. Uh, Chocolate Mama, welcome to the stream. If that's a real person, probably not one I want to know anything about. You don't want to know about the, the, top, the top G Brian out there? The Alpha Brian? When the rest of us are just a bunch of... We're just... What about Sigma Brian? I feel like I'm like the Sigma Brian, right? Because I have like, no, you know, I I don't do like collab lobbies often. I grind my own grind, you know? I move differently. 
I grinded for this view type of thing. <laughs> I use the wolf ripping off short sticker on Discord all the time. Slade, you literally sent it to me yesterday, last night, while I was trying to recover from my migraine, and you are like, by the way, here's a really amazing emote. And I had to be like, ah, Slade, why are you so talented and awesome and amazing? What's wrong with you? Save some for the rest of us, right? And that was the Gerb Love emote. Um, Slade literally sent me the wolf ripping off the shirt image last night. By the way, sorry I didn't stream last night. I had a terrible migraine all day. I could not shake it. I, you know, was drinking tons of water. I did a little bit of light exercise to try to get out of my out of my system type of thing. You know, nothing that would have pushed me so far that I would have gotten, like, a worse headache. I took Excedrin. I drank some caffeine. I closed my eyes and rested. I drank tea. I did literally everything. I could not shake this migraine. Uh, it was just to the point it was debilitating last night, so I, I wasn't able to, to stream. But here I am tonight. So, um, there's a ton of Sigma brain, uh, brains, but not Sigma Brian's. Oh, I could be the first. This is my Sigma era, everybody. I think I've been in it, right? Because I've seen, like, the really, like, absolute dog shit, like, bro advice videos, right? Which are like, true Sigmas have no friends. And I'm like... I have a lot of friends, but I just don't talk to them very often because I'm on the grind all the time. That's what a, a, a true Sigma does, right? We're just on the grind. We're making our own path, macheteing our way through the jungle, trying to trying to move different on the timeline, right? <laughs> I don't want to be a Sig. I don't want to be Sigma. <laughs> the only Sig in my universe is is Sig, my cat. He's this Sig. Sig is short for Sigma. Oh my god, that would be so funny if that was his real name. How are you feeling today? Migraine's completely gone. Uh, Morgan and I laid down early and I was able to get some good rest. Thank you for asking. True Sigmas are just awkward introvert. Yeah, true Sigmas are just guys who, I don't know if they didn't like get beaten up enough by like the school bully, but they like just want, they always wanted to be part of the popular clique. They just never were invited to be. There's a very big difference between, like, people who are left out and wanted to be a part of the popular clique and people who got picked on by the popular clique and then went, that's stupid, I want to go do my own thing and actually, like, be unique and be myself and not follow everybody. That reminds me of the TikTok account that's like, be a man, but it's a ridiculous bit. Like, get hit by a car, walk it off, be a man. Oh my god, I saw one of those on uh, Instagram yesterday. My friend uh, sent me one that was basically... Yeah, that that kind of thing. We're just like a true uh, a true alpha is always consistent. Me, my alarm clock goes off and I turn it off. Five minutes later, it goes off again and then I turn it off. Am I late for work? Absolutely, but at least I'm consistent. <laughs> yeah, sigma. Yeah, gerb sigma. <laughs> anyway, tonight's stream, everybody. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not a furry. Let the record show. I'm not a furry. And I'm not a Alpha or Sigma or whatever. Who cares? <laughs> I'm not. Why am I even? I'm, I'm inciting the Omegaverse again. I need to stop doing this. Somehow every six months, the conversations in this community start aligning with the Omegaverse again. And I just, I don't know how to avoid it. It's like inevitable. I have to like pull myself away from it. It's like a black hole. Oh my god, stop denying the fur beagly allegations. Not the fur beagly again. I thought we banished that phrase back in like 2019. I thought that like back when when the uh, the mod crew was like Sky, Shira, Lav, I thought that we ban that fur beagly died with that crew. Don't worry, I'll take that burden for you. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh my gosh, really. Don't call in sick, die at work, be a man. <laughs> Exactly. Everything comes back. Everything comes back to the Omegaverse. Yeah. The Omega Multiverse. We probably did, but I'm Shira, so I can do whatever I want. That is true. I don't know why. I just, for some reason, I just thought of you saying I'm Shira, but like in the I'm baby voice, like the I'm baby, like I'm Shira. Omegaverse never dies. It lives in our hearts. Some of your hearts, sure, you know, enjoy your time in the Omegaverse. I personally, I don't partake and that's okay. It just, you know, it's not really for me. <laughs> Picking an animal, I'll make you a fursona. I think you might've missed that entire inciting conversation there, Andromixus. I already, 
I already revealed the dark art that I used to make that brought me far too close to the sun for my comfort back when I was in middle school. Because, oh my god. The, again, you guys saw that picture of that wolf guy. I also, oh man, oh, let me show you the other one. This one's actually even close, like, how did I avoid being a furry? How did I, I don't know. I dodged a bullet so hard here. Guys, I, all right, my OC, do not steal. I was obsessed with manga and anime because I didn't have friends. And so after a, a long day of getting stuffed into a garbage can and beat up and called slurs, AAPI month, by the way, you owe me reparations. Um, <laughs> after a long day of that at school, uh, I would go home and I'd, I'd read manga and watch anime. And uh, I made my own OC when I was like 12 or 13. Her name is uh, Battle Girl Sakura Kitsune. Which, because I knew like four words in Japanese, I knew Sakura, which like cherry blossoms, and Kitsune meant fox. She's a, she's a little, I made her own logo. She's a little fox girl, dude. Little, little fox girl. Look at her go. I drew I drew her until I was like 14 or 15, I remember. But guys, how did I... How did I avoid being a, a furry? I don't know. The weeb part got me. Oh, wait, she's cute. <laughs> thank you for humoring... Thank you for the, the patronizing. <laughs> I thought... I don't know. I thought that... She, she was maybe a little on the cuter side compared to the wolf guy, that's for sure. You were a furry you just didn't realize? But what if I don't feel like I was inside? I, I thought that being a furry... Because, like, I'm not here to, to make fun of furries at all. Like, if you feel like you're a furry, you're a furry, whatever. But, like, I don't feel like one, you know? He, hello, hi, welcome to the stream. I joined a weird wolf roleplay chat room online when I was like 12 and I didn't get the furry either. I'm shocked. Wow, we we were very close to the sun. We were very, very close to the sun, little hellion. I got in trouble because I picked the same signature font as the alpha. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. The alpha of the roleplay group got mad at you because you picked the same signature font? That's so funny. It's like that font establishes me as the true alpha of the group. How dare you? Are you challenging me, the alpha? For my role at the head of the pack? Oh, God. That's so good. That's so funny. Oh, my God. How the fuck did y'all not Icarus here? I know, right, Liz? Like, dangerously close. It was the awful papyrus font. Not even a good font. It's like a freaking like Microsoft Word default meme font. Played online Minecraft and I made it out alive. Listen, I played like so much. I played RuneScape and Ragnarok and Maple Story. So the fact I'm still here today is actually a miracle. Is that the same as getting in trouble for picking the same cat for Warrior Cats kids? Oh yeah, it would be like the same as like picking the same Power Ranger. As, as one that your your friend already had. Same type of vibe. Except in this case, there is a hierarchy of wolves. <laughs> it's not just you happen to pick the same font. It's like there is a there was the pack leader who is really angry. I was a Warrior Cats kid. We have a lot of Warrior Cats kids. I wasn't a Warrior Cats kid. I'm sorry. I've I've never I've read like half of one of the books. I want to go back and read some. Just see I, I I've been trying to do that with the Percy Jackson books too. Um, cause I missed out on, on both of those, but I was, uh, I was, oh man, here's, here's more. This is not helping the allegations by the way, but I was a big Redwall fan. I was a huge Redwall fan. Uh, I have like 20 Redwall books on my bookshelf because I, I love those little animals. They, they got into medieval wars and they had these giant delicious feasts that were described in detail. Like, oh, for, for the feast, he had, a. Uh, a uh, half of a wedge of cheese and a small uh, dandelion salad and a little uh, cask full of uh, dandelion juice. And I, I would just be like, as a kid, I'd be like, I wish I could shrink and, and eat that with them. That sounds so good. Fucking loved Redwall. Yeah, Redwall fans. Let's go. 
Furry behavior. Stop. I, I, I said, I acknowledge. This does not help the allegations. This does not help the allegations at all. <laughs> Good God. I flew very close to the sun. I did. But somehow, I had one more booster on my rocket ship. And as I started plummeting towards the fiery surface, that booster kicked in and launched me away from the heliotropic body of the sun. I did not burn up. I did not become a furry. I was able to walk away with my humanity intact. So, never read the Percy Jackson books, but I did perform in the musical for it. Wait, there was a Percy Jackson musical? That's actually kind of dope. New emote? Yo, what's up, Alexis? Yeah, new emote. New emote. Um, plot armor? You'd be too powerful. Yeah, that was a little bit of plot armor for me, for sure. I think the universe basically just went, okay, wait, you're already getting bullied too much. If I actually infect your brain with, like, full furry, like, you'll, you're will you not going to survive high school. So, like, I think that that, that something stepped in there, you know? Um, you didn't know? No, I had no idea that uh, there was a Percy Jackson musical. That's wild. Uh, some of the music is so good. Is it? So, I'm assuming it's, like, fairly... Are we talking, like, modern musical style, like, Dear Evan Hansen? Or does it do more of, like, a throwback, like, Into the Woods era? Honestly, almost anything with quaint anthropomorphic animals in cute clothes, and I was sold. I mean, I'm a big fan of, like, Animal Crossing. That's, that's up there, right? So. <laughs> uh, I'm not a furry. I'm a... <laughs> Well, listen, we have a lot of monster kissers in the community. It's it's okay. You're allowed. We have a lot of monster smoochers. They exist. Your rights aren't taken away here. So, one time I was in a certain hospital, and they had a selection of very few books. So, I read Warrior Cats as a 20-something-year-old, and it was genuinely nostalgic. Yeah, so, um, I used the Libby app for online uh, library books, like ebooks. So I will be uh, absolutely um, reading those at some point. I'll, I'll document the journey. I'll let you guys know when I start flying close to that sun again. Monsters need loving too. Yeah, true. Yo, Alex, what's good? Monster kisses, you say? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a big old smooch on those monsters. Sorry to the mods who have to uh, permit everything because auto mod is level two for the AAPI month. It's part of the uh, the caveat of me having the opportunity to be on the front page. More into, like, the newer musical type stuff. Reminded me a lot of, like, Dear Evan Hansen and Heathers and stuff. Okay, yeah, got it. Uh, but I'm not much of a theater kid, so I could be wrong. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Mothman deserves love. Mothman absolutely deserves love. I give them all the kisses. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. I'm feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. Yesterday I had like and like a head splitting migraine. Um, it was the worst ever. Um, so that that sucked. I wasn't really able to get to sleep until I heavily uh, medicated, um, self medicated. Uh, but once I got to sleep, I slept very soundly and I woke up without the migraine. So that was good. Uh, I don't know what those words mean. Monster kisser. Um, he only likes her just exactly as old. as She's they say, like smooching on a monster. You, you, you know. Love. Yo, Beans, thank you so much for the 48 months. Oh my God, thank you for the four years. Can we make uh, guys chat? Make some noise. Make some noise for uh, four freaking years. Yup, yup. Oh my God, hype and pride and some gerb love in the chat. Brand new emo gerb love. Toss that up. Toss up those hands. Let's go. Again, I actually, I love that it like pauses in the middle. And I like really hold up the heart before I put it back down. I think that's such a cute animation loop. It's adorable. It's so cute. Heck yeah. Yeah, catch these hands. Exactly. So cute. If you like the new emote, make sure you say thank you to uh, Slade. Griffin Slade in the chat there. Surprise me with that one. I gotta go do chores and stuff, so we'll lurk. Hey, enjoy your lurk. Thank you so much for uh, having me on in the background. Boy, what's good? Scattered, hello. Hi, welcome, everybody. Uh, Nico, welcome. Welcome to the stream. 
Thank you everyone for joining again. I'm sorry for starting so late tonight. It's been a weird weekend. I know I keep saying that. It's been a very weird weekend. I had to get some other work done today. Uh, I had to practice my script um, because I have to do a recording session for a game tomorrow, uh, which is going to be really exciting. Uh, so back-to-back -back game announcements coming up here most likely. Um, but I just was sent the script over the weekend and uh, I haven't had very long to practice it. So I've been trying to to do some practice today. Be a real voice actor a little bit. I've had all these people like messaging me and stuff recently being like, Brian, you're the reason I'm like checking out voice acting. I'm like getting into it. You're so inspirational. And I'm always like, awesome. I'm, I'm really glad you're pursuing that. I, I want more people to get into voice acting. I don't see anyone as like a rival or like competition. I just see people who are passionate about something they might want to try. And I want more people to do that. The, the worst thing you can do in life is not try to pursue something that you're creatively interested in. And it might not work out. You might try it out and go, ah, I don't like the classes or I don't like, you know, the process of voice acting or I'm not as good as I thought I was going to be. And I, I you know, want to shelve that and work on this other thing that I, I'm more confident in. That's okay to do. Um, but don't use me as an inspiration, please. I audition <laughs> way less than the average voice actor. I have a freak schedule where I somehow manage to land more roles than the uh, industry average. Industry average is like every 100 to 200 auditions you do, you get a role. Um, for me, I audition like 40 times a year and get like two to four roles. So I'm a little bit above the average. Do not follow my example. It's not, this isn't the way you're supposed to do it. This is not good work etiquette. <laughs> but if you're into, yeah, get into it. Take some, take some classes, improve your acting, try it out, have some fun with it. See if it's, if you're meant for it, you know? Gotta go to bed because I work in seven hours. Oh my God, Hannah, thank you again for all your generosity, donating to the kids, uh, gifting all those subs, getting us so much closer. Oh my God, only 49 subs until our next sub goal. Thank you very, very much, Hannah. Get some wonderful rest. You are just a fantastic person and have a lovely, lovely start to your week. Gonna lurk, uh, Ouija Peaches, uh, get... Get a nice, uh, ba yeah, get a nice hot bath in. I almost read that wrong, but get a nice hot bath in. Thank you so much for lurking and, and hanging out. Um, you have a good luck stat? I, I Apparently, RNG is in my favor. So, yeah. Um, I don't even know how to get into voice acting, but every time someone asks what I want to do, I say voice acting? Well, hey, there is a handy-dandy website for you that I recommend. Uh, you're so inspiring, like genuinely. Do not let me be your inspiration. I should not be anybody's role model. If you're here and you want to like gift subs and support what I'm doing because you like the content, that's why I make the content. Hey, feel free to, you know, tip me. I'm, I'm busking on the street here. But me as a role model? No, 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 no. I've made far too many mistakes in my life. I've been far too much of a public menace. I have been completely unhinged. My entire brand is just being mentally unwell online like publicly and that's how i've gotten to where i'm at oh yeah i never end ended up answering streamer hunters uh message here here's the thing um there is a website and i i share this every single time it's literally this is gonna sound fake it's gonna sound like a oh am i gonna have to like buy a freaking 10 step book through a subscription service and blah blah no 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 this is a website that was written by an industry legend named D. Bradley Baker. He is someone who has voiced literally thousands of characters over the years. Uh, legend in the voice acting industry. Um, he makes a, he hosts a website uh, that he writes called IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. And IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com, again, it sounds like a fake URL, but it's just IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com by D. Bradley Baker. You're going to click it. You're going to go, this is a fake website. It looks like it was made on WordPress in 1998. It does. Um, he has not updated it. It could definitely use a new coat of paint. Uh, but it is a legit website that he keeps updated pretty regularly. And he gives away industry secrets that most people would charge you for. Um, he wants more. He's like me. He wants more people to get their foot into the door and be able to at least try out voice acting. Whether you're someone who's just starting out, if you're a hobbyist, if you're an intermediate level voice actor, um, or if you're like a pro, doesn't matter. There's a section on that site for everyone and it will give you as specific or general of information as you're looking for. So you could go there and you could find out 
step by step, very intricately written in these giant like journal entries and paragraphs and stuff. Every step of the process, how to get signed up for classes, how to uh, uh, submit your name to casting rosters, to be considered to have auditions sent your way that you can then audition for. Um, him and I will both recommend that before you really start putting yourself out there, especially before you like make a demo and stuff, you actually practice the acting part of voice acting. Uh, voice acting, un unlike what a lot of people think, uh, the emphasis is on the acting part. Uh, get better at acting, and then you will knock it out of the park way more than someone who's like, I can do a really good Homer Homer Simpson impression. I can do I, I can do Rick and Morty impressions. Okay, cool. So can 20,000 other people out there. The problem is, can you act? Can you do a voice and act? Or can you just act while being told to do a specific voice? The acting is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting there. So uh, go on to that site play around on it uh there's tons of helpful links everything from how to quote your price if you do land a part to uh, uh signing up for classes so there you go i want to be a voice actor.com by d bradley baker my mom says you should do this and if anyone ever needs someone to voice a cat that sounds like eeyore cat yzma or doe from or doug from up i'm ready <laughs> appreciates this information yeah Absolutely. Here, I'll put it into the chat, too. Learn voice acting. Okay. And again, it's going to look... I want to be... Wait, I want to be a voice you actor. You once were a vegan. Whoa, 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 whoa. But now you will be Oh, gone. my God. Let me pin this. Vegan. Also, I want to be a voice actor.com. What just happened? Streamer Hunter! Oh my god, thank you so, so much! What the heck? That's so generous! What the heck? Oh my god, ten, 10 subs closer to our sub goal. Thank you so much for gifting subs to Rival Roly, K2036, UEF Eliminator, Jess Who, uh, Floor0305, Tor the Shell Zord, HLD Racer, Cappuccino1803, Iron Spider1987, and Illuvian Moon. If any of you are here, please make sure you're saying thank you uh, to Streamer Hunter. Thank you so much. That's unbelievably kind. Like, thank you so, so much. Um, really appreciate that. That's an unbelievable amount of generosity. Like, truly. Give me advice so I gave some... Oh my gosh, you never have to pay. I, I give away advice for free. I'm constantly told by my partner I should charge for it. But I'm... Even me... Even someone who gets paid to do voice acting, like, I I am not confident enough to, like, coach or anything yet. So, um, if I can get more people's foot in the door, if I can give you more opportunities to figure things out for yourself, take things at your own pace, um, be able to pursue something you're creatively interested in, I will never snuff out someone's creativity. Like, truly. I, I want to see more people pursue their dreams and achieve the things that they want to achieve. So, um, thank you so much. Like, truly, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I should pay Brian for the advice, but my but by Brian, I mean St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And then a whole slew of very public mistyping. Thank you, Shira. <laughs> thank you so, so much to everybody who's uh, hanging out here tonight. I Again, I, I am an open book when it comes to this stuff. If you ever have questions about voice acting, I'm here to... To answer look away <laughs> it's too late the sin is on display listen lots of sin has been on display tonight i showed off uh furry adjacent pictures chat has shown off uh their love of creamy men and uh smooching monsters and also mistyping so there we go we're all sinners together all right <laughs> it's universal but yeah, I want to be a voice actor.com. Go check it out. D. Bradley Baker uh, definitely has the chops and the resume to be trusted. You don't have to buy anything. It's a free resource. And it's where a lot of us started. I started uh, went back when I was a very amateur voice actor reading I want to be a voice actor.com. So yeah, I don't even want to know, Alex. Yeah, you don't, you don't even really want to know. I get told like twice a week that I should become a voice actor. So perhaps I'll take a gander. Do it. It's going to seem very overwhelming. Don't get me wrong. It's still something that's very hard. You have to treat it like a job and school combined. There's a lot of learning. There's a lot of memorization. There's a lot of etiquette to learn. Uh, it's going to feel a little bit overwhelming, a little bit rigid and, and strict and stiff. 
Um, but there are some best practices and everyone has their own journey. Everyone has their own approach. I'm not going to say that you have to do everything by the book. I have had a very unorthodox voice acting career so far, but I will say that there's a couple basics that especially are on that site that will help pretty much anyone get into it. Even if you will only end up doing like auditions for like very, very tiny projects or something like that. Um, you're going to be equipped with some information and some knowledge that will make you the best candidate for those types of projects. Um, so like my first, my first roles were super tiny bit parts in video games, you know? Uh, and her, we're all in this together from high school musical. Oh my God. Saved it to my browser. Heck yeah. Yeah. I, I have that website favorited on every browser. So there you go. Never mind. Now that you say it, we have to know etiquette. <laughs> What do you mean I can't be the worst ever? Well, once you get to know casting directors, once you get to have a rapport with other voice actors in the field, that's when you get to meme. Um, there's a couple voice acting studios that reach out to me to uh, send me stuff where in the beginning, you know, I'd write, hi, you know, whoever, uh, here is my audition for this character. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're wonderful. Hope you have a great weekend regards brian long you know stuff like that now i just send my audition through and i'm just like here's me doing a weeby screech i hope that you like it see you in hell you know you, you can do that hicka thank you so much for the seven stream streak thank you welcome to the stream nice to have your regards yeah that's when you know it's super formal as i i ended it with regards um but yeah once you get a rapport most voice actors are meme lords behind the scenes. Obviously, you don't want to do that for like a big AAA company or Japanese clients. A lot of the time, the um, <laughs> a lot of the humor is lost in translation. So, uh, for instance, like I was the official dub voice of a character named Teseo for the English voice of uh, that character that originally was a game from Japan, Gunvolt 3, and I got to do the dub voice. Um, well. <laughs> I I could not really joke around with the Japanese producer quite as much. That's all I'll say. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, shivers in professional. Yeah. Icebreaker question: What's everybody's go-to email sign-off if you're emailing someone for the first time, such who you don't know well? Mine is always regards because it's like old school and it's what I used to sign off when I owned a marketing company back in the day. I was a Boy Scout, so I have manners. Yeah, me too. I feel ya. Uh, as someone with a uni friend who's a VA can confirm the meme lords fact, meme dubbing is genuinely part of how he got his start. Oh yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, that said, uh, reading prompts. I just saw a friend of mine uh, put up a video where he talked about, not calling him out, but like he put up that oftentimes when he submits a demo, he gets, or uh, an audition, he gets rejected because he doesn't read the whole prompt. And he forgets to record a part of the audition prompt. And I was like, that's an e that's a very easily avoidable mistake you can make. Or if like a casting director is like, when you send your audition file through, make sure it's like MP3 format versus dot wave or something. Um, or if it's, if they're like, this is the titling, do character voice with like first name, last name of the character capitalized. And then your like underscore your name. Set, follow that formatting like copy paste it exactly there are people who have lost jobs because uh they didn't format properly and then when the files got sorted their audition got lost in the mess it wasn't even like a nitpicking thing it was like a oh it got sorted to the wrong part of like the files and their audition never got listened to uh so just a small heads up a lot of it comes down to not even the voice acting of it. It's a lot of it is a, is the correspondence and and how you audition. So there you have it. Hi from a theme park. I can't hear Brian Naray. Hello, hi. <laughs> Spent so much of today applying for jobs and just the application process made me lose faith in humanity a little bit. Yeah, it's it's a mess. Um, voice acting is the exact same way. It's like uh, treat it like it's a job application when you do that. Until, again, until you get to, like, know the studios or the casting directors. Then you can be like, hey, hey, asshole. <clears throat> Obviously not that bad, but that's that's banter you say for fellow voice actors, as you call them funny names. 
I wanna I, I put up a tweet before I went live. I really wanna get into Genshin or anime, even though it's like a meme in the voice acting community, because like everyone's like, oh, what's your what's your uh, your voice acting dream role? What's your aspirations? Oh, I wanna get into anime. I wanna do like anime dubs. I wanna be like in Naruto, or like I wanna get into Genshin Impact. Um, everyone does that. Every voice actor and the mom. Um, but I want to do that not specifically for the renown. I want to do that because. I want to joke around and banter with the weebs out there because like the Genshin community and like the anime community and like any like big weeby franchise has some of the funniest meme lords of all time. I want to, I just want to like banter with them. I think it would be very funny and fun. Hey asshole, how I answer the phone with my former director now that we're besties. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, dogs is in feet. Wait, what? Oh, that was okay. That was not to me. I was like. Dogs is in feet? I don't know if, um... <laughs> We're going down a different route here tonight. All right. Uh, oh my god, I haven't even explained what the hell is happening. Um, so tonight, uh, obviously I didn't get to stream last night because uh, I unfortunately um, had a horrible migraine. Yeah, you know, dogs is in feet. Yo, what's up, Halloween? How we doing? Uh, yeah, the Genshin and Honkai Star Rail uh, voice actors are so great. Absolutely jewels. I'm friends with a couple of them. They are fantastic people. The whole cast is just hilarious. Some good stuff. It's a phrase. I know it is, but just out of context, seeing that in the middle of the chat after some of the conversations we've had tonight, I was like... <laughs> I went to Migraine Island and everyone was talking about you there. Oh, yeah, everyone knew me there for sure. Everyone knew my name. It's like when you distract the teacher to talk about their life so they don't teach. Yeah, I feel like a substitute teacher right now where I just keep getting distracted. Where I'm like, all right, class, where were you and uh, Mrs. Blorbenstein uh, in the science book? And then uh, someone raises their hand and they're like, normally Mrs. Blorbenstein actually just lets us watch movies during this period. And I go, oh, wait, really? What? <laughs> That's basically what happened. So tonight, before I get more distracted. So last night I had a terrible migraine. Uh, today I'm back and better than ever because all it took, uh, go figure, was a whole bunch of sleep. I'm still exhausted, but I'm not migraining. Uh, and outside of the voice acting session I have tomorrow, I'm going to be resting. Yeah, classic, classic Mrs. Borbenstein. Um, <laughs> the dreaded, are you married? Do you have kids questions? Oh, God. I have a couple friends who are subs. It's, listen, no, okay, stop. I, I can't go down tangents right now. Tonight, because Saturday was, yesterday was supposed to be a Layers of Fear stream. Morgan was out of the house. I had the whole night free. And I was like, oh boy, I'm gonna stream extra long. Layers of Fear is gonna be real. I'm gonna make so much good progress in the game. Maybe I'll beat it before May's up. Uh, and then I got this horrible migraine. Uh, Cause Morgan was at a wedding that I didn't get to go to. Long story, uh, very limited guest no list type of situation. Um, people wanted me there, but the parents that were paying for the the wedding didn't have the budget for plus ones, apparently. So that was so no one got to have one, which was very embarrassing for them. But uh, Morgan was at that wedding, and I was like, "Ooh, I should uh, you know do a whole bunch of work today." And then I I went to Migraine Town. Nore, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Halloween. Halloween, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Thank you very very much. I read Brian's lips as subs. This is going to be very bad because because Narae can't hear what I'm saying allegedly. And then here I am. I'm saying subs is in substitute teachers. Oh, God. Send the message to Narae. <laughs> oh, God. Otherwise, I'm going to get buried by more subs. Um, <laughs> migraines are awful. Yeah, key. It was a, it was a head splitting one. Um, but uh, so I was supposed to do layers of fear with funky glasses on for 30 minutes. Uh, tonight was supposed to be Jump King, but since uh, I don't want to skip either of those things, um, I want to put it up to the community to vote on. So tonight, you will vote in a poll that I'll put up in chat uh, for if I play Jump King, which I just reinstalled. I, I was also partially late tonight because I had to reinstall Jump King on my computer because I delete it every year after I'm done playing it for charity. Um, so there will be a poll uh, to vote for either Jump King or for Layers of Fear tonight. Either way, for the first 30 minutes, I'll be wearing these guys. I kind of don't want to do this with Jump King more because uh, Jump King is already so frustrating and not being able to see most of the screen while wearing these while playing that game might actually make blood vessels in my neck explode. Um, so 
we're gonna be uh, doing that you guys already hit the 10k goal for the month so that is why jump king is already activated uh this will be the only jump king stream whether i play it tonight or play it on like tuesday or thursday or whatever uh that's that's it um that's the only jump king stream you get this month um and then uh layers of fear obviously i am forced to beat at some point either this month or in june uh but that is the plan tonight you guys get to decide what the content is so uh now that that's understood let's get the poll going what's jump king it's a horrific rage game um that is like a pixel it's like mario style platformer except you can't change direction once you're in the air the only thing you can decide is the strength of the jump and the direction and then once you're in the air you're at the gravity of mercy uh or the gravity the, the gravity of mercy the mercy of gravity wow the dyslexia Whew. um i'm getting stressed thinking about jump king that's why uh it's my least favorite rage game ever made i've never beaten it i've tried to beat it for like the past like five years uh during charity month so uh we'll see but you all get to vote um it's a terrible game uh it's a terrible terrible game how long do you want the poll to go for well, i'll 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 set it up don't don't worry you've worked so hard already you've worked so hard uh we'll do a full two minute guy on this one so content question marks we'll do jump so we'll do jump king rage or we'll do layers of fear scary all right chat you don't get to use points for this you just get to use your democratic ability to vote i will also unpin i'll unpin this message so that you can just see the poll but use your voice there we go so you hate the mods and want us all to die um i didn't say that I only hate the mods and want them to die in Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> Ill not point vote it. Yeah, I don't want this to be manipulated. I don't want it to be like, oh yeah, we got 60 viewers and 782 votes. That's not how this works. I'm down for either. Layers of Fear is winning by a landslide. I'm actually surprised. Wow. Y'all like the scary more than you like the rage. Wow, okay, okay. Yeah, in-game. Exactly, Sally. Hello, Sally. Why not both games at the same time? <laughs> well, no, no, no. You get one or the other. You get one or the other, and then the other one will be next stream. All right? So, so on Tuesday, most likely, I will be playing at whatever doesn't win during this poll. I'm shocked. I thought it would at least be close. I'm actually shocked, too, because most people love watching me play jump king and uh losing my mind i know like angie well it's my channel so you're gonna see it sometime i'm so sorry uh no no we get one and the other yeah you get one and then the other play one with your feet and the other regularly alex don't you have another channel to like go mod for or something right now <laughs> Both at the same time, and the controls go to both at the same... God, that would be horrible. I'd have to hit up... I have a buddy who, um, like, codes software and hardware to do stuff like that. That'd actually be kind of funny. So, have your cake and eat it, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Layers of fear. We'll see if I have a voice tomorrow for the, the voice acting recording session I have. Uh... <laughs> Naray, take care. Thank you so much for dropping by. I think chat just wants to save you from using the goggles with Jump King. Oh, how nice of chat, obviously. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised. Yeah, me too, Melanie. I got roasted. Damn. That's what happens here. You're in the roast zone. You're in the splash zone. You know? <laughs> You're in the splash zone. Yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah, exactly, Eliza. Yeah, that's why. Because everyone wants to be so nice. Either way, it'd be tough on your boy. Either way, yeah, either way, it's going to be very tough on my boy. I, I, I have a, I already told Morgan I'm going to be um, probably, probably calling Eddie so that, that after stream tonight, because that will be pretty, pretty soothing. I won't tear up my throat. I'm going to be drinking some tea. 
Uh, I have a, an apple in the fridge ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, there's a voice acting tip for you. Hot off the presses. Uh, especially very tart apples. The tarter, the better. Um, but if you get a good tart apple uh, and eat that, like, right before your voice acting session uh, for the first, like, 15 minutes, um, it will help eliminate the phlegm in your mouth. You won't get the, like, weird mouth-clicking phlegmy noises. It's a life hack. It, it works wonders, too. So, right, so I got... I'm prepped. I'm okay. I got some honey for my tea. I got, you know, like, uh, I got lozenges. I got some elderberry lozenges. I got some good stuff. I'll be good. Hopefully I don't scream too loud tonight, because we were in a really scary part of this goddamn game. <sighs> we were in the doll section of this game, like the baby and the doll section of this game. I don't even think we... We haven't even done the scariest segment of it. They changed part of this uh with this remaster um where that whatever ghost like sprinted at me and like spear tackled me that made me really scream when that happened oh my god savvy what's good hello hi uh do you steam your voice uh i normally don't i, I like i'll do like a light steam so here's another life hack um you just uh blast hot water in the shower Blast hot water in the shower and stand in that and just breathe in the steam. You, you can do it that way. I'll do that before a session, yeah. Because um, normally what I do is I'll work out to warm up my stamina a little bit and my, like, lung capacity. And then, like, I'll normally do, like, a little bit of cardio, right? And then I'll take a hot shower, steam my, my throat a little bit, uh, and then I'll eat an apple and um, then sit down and do my, my voice acting. So that's the move for me. Uh, and and that's, a lot of that stuff, like if, if anyone's here from musicals or choir or anything, a lot of that stuff is going to carry over. It's like the same sort of best practices. I don't voice act or anything, but I did uh, six months of tea, and now I can't sing higher notes, which is so sad. But I love my voice better now. Key, I love that for you. Oh, my God. All the gender-affirming care. Love hearing about it. Every time someone has like an update about like, gender-affirming care in this community, it makes my heart sore love that i want all of you to be yourselves please know that we're a very trans friendly community um for obvious reasons uh but uh thank you for joining hey lee what's good nice to have you here you have any vocal warm-ups uh i normally it, it depends on what i'm doing um so if i'm doing something that is very lower register uh intensive i might do uh, um do a little bit of warming up just because it's like it, more strenuous to hold my voice down there all the time uh if i'm talking like really gravelly because like tears up your your throat a lot uh if i'm doing something super high pitched uh i'll do like arpeggios from like chorus because it's a good range of you do your natural da -da 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 -da, you know like kind of thing uh and you just keep working your way up till you hit like your maximum octave um and then that that warms you up, stretches you, your your vocal cords out a little bit. Um, so, that those are like kind of the only ones. I'll do a lot of uh, just like in character dialoguing. This is something silly. Okay, here's one. All right, here's one. A lot of um, screen actors will talk about this as well, and theater actors will talk about this as well. But especially uh, any of you, I know Shira does like short film and uh, student film stuff. Yo, what's up, Kirby? Welcome to the stream. Um, practice in front of a mirror. Practice in front of a mirror. Same goes for voice acting. Because, again, the acting part is the more important part than just the voice. Sure, they're only going to hear the voice. They're not going to see your acting. But if you're someone who acts in front of your microphone, like, oh, I'm actually so angry right now. Like, mm, you, like, really grip the air. You know, tighten your fists. You know, push the, the lower jaw forward. That kind of thing. Do that in the mirror. Get used to what your face looks like while you do that kind of thing. You have a sad scene, you know, learn how to, like, you know, drop your eyes. Learn how to, like, sag your face a little bit. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that you, like, speak slower and you're, you're more, you know, sort of pensive with your words. Those types of things uh, are really useful. So I, normally what I'll do about, you know, an hour before my session, uh, whether it's an audition or if it's actually for a part, I'll... Um, warm up in character voice and what I'll do is I will uh, do a lot of like uh, made up dialogue so I have a set of prompts that I go through uh, where I will go 
All right. Here's an anger prompt. Uh, anger prompt is someone just rear-ended your car while you were sitting at a red light. You know, it can be something simple like that. And you just act that out uh, and, and pretend you're hearing dialogue from another person or even say the dialogue in your normal voice back to yourself. Um, and that will really loosen you up. It will just get you sort of in character. It's a little bit of that, like, method acting type of thing. Uh, and then, um, you know, sad prompt, happy prompt, uh, you know, confused prompt. Uh, that, that'll cover some of your bases, just sort of get you a little bit more creative. And everyone has their own process. Like, that's just mine. That's just, like, what works for me. That's what I've done since the young days of theater um, for me. So, uh, but yeah, especially if you're on camera person, get into that mindset. And uh, if you're not on camera, even for voice acting, get into that mindset like you were on camera. Because uh, the best performances I've ever seen myself uh, have been from people who act at at the microphone. You know, those characters in anime that are, ah, I'm going to kill you type of things. Like, they're angry. They look like they're going to kill the microphone. Th those are always the best. Like, on camera, they look like they're acting out the part. So, need to retrain my voice because I can hit high-ish notes, but it definitely takes more effort. Yeah, see, I had the opposite. Because I, I, I don't keep up with my voice training at all. My femme voice sounds like a freaking anime girl. Jinx, yo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I just sound like the cliche anime girl, and I have to, like, work on, like, more natural register. Um, but obviously, that's just on my... That's my own fault for not keeping up with it, because I'm very aware of throat slash head versus chest voice, diaphragm control, that kind of thing. It's just... I gotta practice. I gotta practice more. Uh, my most useful acting tip for people has also been to figure out how to get yourself to seriously believe what the character is experiencing or feeling, even if you realistically wouldn't. Yeah, honestly, it's so wild, right? Because um, a lot of people are very good impressionists out there. They can imitate a voice pretty well, like beat for beat. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't understand that the true essence of like acting, and this is not to gatekeep them or to put down what they do, but if you ever want to get creative and do like a take that's a little bit off the beaten path, uh, try something unique, something that might become like your signature thing with your voice acting, right? Uh, or your on-screen acting is you have to play pretend well. That sounds silly, but at the end of the day, acting and voice acting is literally just knowing how to play pretend really well. Um, so if you are really good at playing pretend really well, if you are like, I can imagine myself as this character, I just got news on the phone my uncle just died or my grandma just died or something right feeling that um one of one of my uh voice acting mentors uh the thing that he always says um yeah sure i think any of us who are like really good at committing to the bit like truly can get it right silver hello hi and also welcome uh to anybody who's joining thank you so much for listening to me tangent it's selfish sunday i get to talk about whatever i want you know um but uh Here's the thing. When it comes to this type of thing, not everyone's going to be good at it right away. God knows I wasn't. And I'm I, I'm kind of still very, like, mid-mediocre in my mind. Like, there's a lot of things I wish I could do better. I'll listen back to a lot of my old voice acting work, and I'm like, shit, I could have played around with this line more. I could have done this with my voice. I could have emphasized or held on to this word more. Uh, that kind of thing. Um, and we're always going to be, our, like, our worst critics, right? But, uh... It's a skill that you have to practice. It's why I said you got to treat it like it's a, a job or like school. Like you you do have to practice it like any other skill. So just keep practicing. Um, so there you go. Uh, my best acting tip is people will always judge you no matter what. Be crazy regardless and don't let the fact that people might laugh at rather than, than uh, with you stop you. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good one. Honestly, Jinx. Um, just as someone who's gotten to sit on like both sides of a booth, right? Uh the most interesting and uh, ear-catching voice acting auditions are when people try something a little bit off the beaten path and they just go for it. And even if it's not exactly what you're looking for, um, just knowing that they went for it means a lot of those casting directors will file that, like file your name away and be like, okay, not what we're looking for with this role, but they stuck out so much, you made such an impression. We're going to put them in our little database, and if we find a role that matches that energy, that type of characterization, 
we're gonna hit up that person immediately that shit happens all the time that's how people get past roles literally the so the role that i'm recording tomorrow is because a casting director that worked with me before said hey i i have an upcoming project that's coming out here and i want you on the cast list because i've worked with you before and i need you for this role um so that is that's how that works um is you you make your impression you commit to the bit you pretend you're that character and you don't pretend in the sense of hi this is me acting pretending to be the character you you are that character um oh i, I interrupted myself my favorite uh thing that one of my voice acting mentors has told me uh is go out the best thing you can possibly do for your voice acting or your on-screen acting is experience life because the more life experiences you have it, it step away from the microphone step away from the computer screen step away from the camera go out and experience life away from all that stuff and then remember how it genuinely felt when certain things happened to you if you're if you're doing a scene where you got a phone call your grandma died if you are someone who's like i've experienced loss in my life before draw on that don't be afraid to cry don't be afraid to uh, i've i did a um so some of you know i played the character leonard on the uh the horror sci-fi um audio drama technomancy project there's a scene in uh my episode where leonard gets choked out uh by like a supernatural entity and in the booth i i physically choked myself um while i was doing it. you don't have to commit that hard you don't have to method act you don't have to freaking do that but um it you know it's one of those things where like i just put a little bit of pressure on my throat and i went oh my god i've been choked out before in martial arts um i can kind of draw on that sensation and i i pulled pulled that out right uh so there's like yeah if you've experienced loss if you remember oh this scene calls for you to be really joyous remember how it felt when you i don't know walked across the stage for graduation or were told you got a job promotion or uh it was your best friend's birthday and you had a blast with them like i, I don't know draw on those experiences draw on the real life you've lived to flesh out the character you're playing to make them a real person for you the best thing you can do as an actor is eat handfuls and handfuls of soil trust me it works wonders yeah if you guys are eating as much um garden grade potting soil as possible there's handfuls of that shit just you eat that and you let that coat your throat and your lungs like do like breathe in a little bit while you're eating the the potting soil right and it coats not only your throat but like your lungs uh you're gonna find that the substance will actually um just really oh, it's gonna bring out the best in you uh because what the soil does is it actually activates the creative parts of your brain so that you become a better actor um and also it's gonna just taste really good it's gonna taste so good that you're gonna be in such a good mood that you're gonna put your best performance forward there you go that's that's the best acting advice right there so there you have it good thing i i live a few blocks away from a greenhouse oh yeah yeah just break in at night and steal from them and you'll have unlimited potting soil to help you in your acting endeavors yeah uh i come back and i hear soil and taste good oh yeah absolutely the internet is legally binding he would never lie to us <laughs> so there you go yeah that's a that's a big one <laughs> anyway just have here at the end of the day though um like whether you're doing it as a hobby or if you are someone who's like i want to take this all the way and see what i can do with it just have fun like again it, this is goes hand in hand these are not mutually exclu ex exclusive things but like um not everyone is going to try out acting or voice acting and be a good fit you might try as hard as you can and you just go i just can't embody uh, you know this character or it's too much of a time commitment too much work i just feel like giving up i want to shelf this for now um so it it's okay that happens but at least you tried it right you you tried it uh and that's that's a really cool thing to do is at least try it the number of things i've tried it and not done that great at and then been like ca crossing them off the list at least i tried it i didn't succeed but i'm gonna you know go now know that i can use that time to put it into this other thing that i'm like really passionate and good at um i've done that a million times
Uh, yo, what's up, Snackless? Hello, hi. How are you? Thank you so much for the follow. Hope all of your uh, your fundraising and everything's going well. Hope you're doing well this uh, fine end of our weekend. If it's already the start of the new week for you, I hope you have a great new week here. Um, I thought you were building on the soil bit. I thought you were going to... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I actually dropped the bit. I'm sorry. I didn't commit hard enough. I won't get the soil narrator role. I won't get the soil grifter voice actor role. <laughs> the soil grifter with the bad voice acting advice. <laughs> Darn, I didn't didn't commit to that bit hard enough. Um, but here's the other thing. is uh, At the end of the day, literally just have fun. Just have fun. Like, if you are trying out for an audition... If you're doing a role, if you get picked up for a fan dub of something, or if you get picked up for an indie game or whatever, just have fun. Just have a blast. It's supposed to be fun. You're literally voice acting and acting on camera is literally playing pretend. Is getting paid to play pretend. You're 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 creating things by playing pretend. It, it's cool. It's fun. I love it. When a finished product comes out and I see my or I hear my voice coming out of a character that I like got to like pretend I was. That's fun. That's the most fun ever. I love that. Like truly. Everything's going good. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Soil Grifter is insane. <laughs> I can't play pretend I'm a horrible liar. See, it takes some practice though. If you really want to get into it, just practice. And like I said, talk to yourself in front of the mirror. Everyone will think you're nuts, but you'll actually become a better actor. My thing is now I don't uh, do it in front of the mirror. It's like while I'm showering before uh, I get ready, a lot of the times I literally just talk to the wall of my shower and I'll just be like, what do you mean that you didn't see my car parked there? You know, like I, I just make up a scenario, a hypothetical scenario in my head and I just commit to that shit. The moment I stop having fun at the core of my soul uh, is the moment I realize something is not for me. Same here. I'm I'm a very much like, a, am I having fun with this? No, I'm dropping it. Life's too freaking short. I have too limited of time on this planet. I'm going to do the things that serve me. I'm going to have fun. As long as I'm not hurting other people and I'm not hurting myself, no one should be able to tell me what I can and can't do with my time. So if I go, this isn't serving me, this isn't what I want to do, I'm going to go find a way to use that time for something that's much more productive, much more creative, much more fun for me. Uh, do you enjoy doing just games or do you enjoy doing other projects more so? Just curious what your favorite thing to do is. Uh, I mean, I love games. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of crossover, right? I've made my entire career out of doing games. so uh, And I've voice acted games on my YouTube channel for 11 years. Uh, I, I love that those two worlds are crossing over. That said, I would love to be in, like, anime. I've been in just uh, one indie animation. Um, but I want to land more... Uh, like animation parts i think it'd be kind of cool anime would be very very neat uh that would be you know childhood dream coming true kind of thing uh but doing games is awesome i love doing games i love it it's really really cool because then i get to go and play the game here for you even though i've only played like two of the games that i've been in i i can i have the option to play the games here you know <laughs> i talk to myself all the time you're halfway there you're doing great then I heart free will. <laughs> Them shower imaginary arguments with my enemies will come in handy. Yeah, actually, they will. Like, genuinely, they will. Harness that, like, frustration. Use that in, like, an audition, you know? It works really well. Um, but, yeah, I, I like doing games. I, I'm in a whole bunch of, <laughs> of games that I haven't played on stream. Maybe after St. Jude Month is over, maybe I finally start. Because I finally started my tattoo. My tattoo sleeve of all my roles, right? Maybe it's time for me to actually play the games that I'm in on, on stream starting in June. That would be kind of good. Um, but yeah, I like games a lot. I want to get into like a big AAA one. Like I want to be in like a Final Fantasy caliber style game, you know? I want something at that level. Persona, Final Fantasy, Yakuza, or I guess Like a Dragon is the what the series is called now. Um, you know... Grand Theft Auto, freaking, I, I don't know, something huge, something big would be really neat to do, uh, but we'll see, you know, my my uh, career is mainly indies right now, and I'm okay with that, because I've worked with some amazing studios and devs and uh, casting directors and just really wonderful, wonderful people, um, so, yeah, my goal is a FromSoft game, that'd be sick, actually, that'd be, so, uh, if, guys, can you imagine some freaking giant boss crawls out of the earth 
like has like two heads one of them is split in half has an axe blade in the middle of it it's got you know like tendrils and like multiple limbs and it's like more gorth damned uh like damned fallen angel from the rot some crazy freaking from soft name has deep lore and then it's my freaking voice coming out of that not this one hopefully not my regular voice right <laughs> hey what's up uh what's up tarnished i'm here to kill you you ready to die? Do, do you see that? I had two heads. Someone split one of my heads in half. I, I didn't even die. You think what do you you think you can do, tarnished idiot? <laughs> if you kill me, by the way, all I'm going to give you is like, you're going to get an herb. It's just a dumb herb, but you have to combine it with like 18 other secret items, and then, then you can actually like do something fun. But you're not going to get those. You'll die like 18 times before then. Sounds like a really difficult cosplay. <laughs> I, I don't even cosplay my characters. I haven't cosplayed any of my characters. <laughs> the closest I came to cosplaying a character of mine is um, when I went to Ethan's premiere for I Have to Do This Tour uh, documentary. Um, I wore my, my nice new purple suit, which kind of looks like Seven in his formal wear uh, from the DLC of uh, Boyfriend Dungeon. Like, kind of. It was the closest I've ever come to cosplaying a character of mine. I don't know if Brian voice, but scary looking came to kill me. I would be shaking my boots because I would trust the voice. <laughs> be too unassuming. You'd be like, wait, something's off here. This isn't lining up. My realities are, ooh. <laughs> You're such a grifter, bro. Dumbass. You're not going to win. Yeah. You just gaslit yourself into thinking you can win, Tarnished. <laughs> Stupid. It's <laughs> really funny. Thought you were cosplaying your apple juice voiceover? No, I don't even have a stagehand outfit. I need to get like a black turtleneck and black pants and uh, just blend in like, I, like I'm tech crew. <laughs> I find your voice very soothing. I wish you would do like audiobooks. Um, I, I have opportunities potentially to audition for some audiobooks. It's pretty good money, but it is a shit ton of work. It's so much work. Um, I would maybe do that someday. You know, I, I wouldn't mind doing that someday. I mean, it, it pays pretty decently. But also, the dyslexia gets in the way a little bit. <laughs> I'd have to do a lot of retakes. Silly, yeah, silly tarnished. If Brian voiced someone bad, I'm being misled. Brian, Brian, why? I literally voice a bad guy. I, vo I voiced one of the uh, major bosses in Gunvolt 3. If you guys um, you don't know that series, it was made by some of the creators of, like, Mega Man... X, uh, an old Mega Man uh, series from back in the day, branched off and made uh, the Gunvolt games. And Gunvolt 3 it was the first time they had an English cast for the franchise. And um, I got to uh, voice one of the bosses. Uh, and he is basically a 4 channer which is awful. <laughs> He's like, his name's Teseo, and he is an evil Korean boy who... Um, has integrated his life force into the internet. He is so chronically online that he became part of the internet and can use a power called Hack the Universe, which allows him to change the code of reality itself to fight Gunvolt. And he had a terrible, he has this terrible like, hey, what's up? It's me, Teseo, like kind of voice. That's that's his voice. That's the voice I do for him. And he, he speaks in like old memes from like 2015. Like, like bad, like Redditor 4chan level memes where he's like, yo, what's up, Gunvolt? It's me, your boy, Teseo, lol. Like that, it's, it's fucking horrible. He's meant to be the most abrasive piece of shit in the world. He's just a terribly chronically online gremlin. Um, but he's also a fan favorite and he's very, very funny. It was my, my vocal performance. So, um... Tonomori uh, Ishihara is the name of the uh, original voice actor of uh, Teseo in in uh, the Japanese dub in like the original version, and he is a legendary voice actor. He's so good, uh, Ishihara-san. I I did my best to do like a like an Americanized version of what he was doing because he has this like really obnoxious voice. Yeah, yeah, Slade. I was asked to make my voice more obnoxious. 
I, I, so I got to work with this like very legendary Japanese producer when I did the dub, right? And um, <laughs> uh, I was in the middle of the session, right? Uh, and the, the the producer, you know, tapped on the shoulder of my translator, and my translator turned to me and was like, "He wants you to make it more annoying." And I had already been like, yo, what's good, boys? It's me. Yo, GV, what's good? You're like, kind of, like, just horrible, fucking awful gremlin voice, right? I, I was, like, doing the hand motions. I was doing, like, everything freaking awful, you know, suburban kid who thinks they're hard kind of shit. Uh, and I, it's just, yeah, being annoying is so awesome. And, and I was told two times during the session, be more annoying. Like, be more annoying. So I, I did that and then i was told also when i was doing like one of his special attack lines to be more anime and i was like oh i get to activate oh my weeb dreams coming true uh so that was pretty fun that was really really fun um so i like that a lot i like that a lot uh but that said um he's a terrible character he's he fucking sucks <laughs> he's, he's a little asshole <laughs> But yeah, Tessio was fun. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he's a villain. He he talks in a lot of just awful, stupid memes. He's a cool design though. Yeah, here I'll I'll pull up my boy. I'll pull up my boy. Actually, wait. Here, what am I doing? Here, I'll show you guys my boy. You guys want to see how fucking awful this character is, and then we'll get moving with the game. Don't worry, I have not forgotten. He does have a very cool design. But yeah. That was a, that was a cool role to get. He's funny. Uh, my voice acting? Oh, oh yeah, I never finished the story. So, my version of him was really divisive because uh, Ishihara-san, who does the original Japanese, is a very beloved voice actor. Uh, and he does it in more of like a smarmy kind of way. He's like pitches his voice up a lot um but he does like Gunvoto! you know like kind of that that's the voice and like i couldn't really imitate that too well with a lot of the the lines i was given so i wasn't really able to be like hey gunbo like that that so that's the voice i ended up on that was like the closest i could uh imitate ishihara but i tried to um you know really honor uh ishihara-san's legacy there with that but i have a say you you know technically this role has my Japanese counterpart, Seiyu, uh, which is so cool, because uh, it's the first time I've had a role that has given me one of those. Um, so, but yeah, I ended up being like, hey, GV, what's good? You know, like that, lol, 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 lol. He's terrible, I fucking hate him. But my uh, performance as a result was really divisive. Half the people were like, oh God, he's so annoying. I fucking hate his dialogue. And they didn't realize, like, I didn't write the dialogue. I do, technically, I could get probably a writing credit if I asked. I did help rework some of the lines, but a majority of those lines, uh, just to make them easier to say, uh, but a majority of the lines were from the translator and the director and the script writers. Um, so a lot of the really cringy meme stuff is meant to be in there because they wrote the character that way. Um, for me personally though, uh, the voice, people were like, oh God, my favorite comments were, oh my God, he's so fucking annoying. I love him. It's perfect for this character. So, uh, that was, that was fun. That was very, very fun. Um, all right, here we go. Let me find me. Hold up. Let me show y'all if I can even find, find him. Slothful experiments. Oh yeah, that's us in the beginning. That's me. That's me. I'm the slothful experiment. Experiment. That's me. I've shown this off before, by the way, but like, I think it's been a while, yeah? So it's like a Mega Man, it's like a pixelated Mega Man 2D scrolling style game, but they're on to the third game. There's like four side games. They have to like translate a ton of them still to bring them over to the US, I guess. Uh, so it's a really big franchise, especially in Japan, and it's catching on here in the West bit by bit. Is that is that loud enough by the way let me know how audio is if it's good just let me know but 
This character is beloved to me just due to the fact he was my first villain. First naughty little guy. Horrible internet troll character. Sounded good. It's loud enough, yeah? Okay. Here I am. OMG, it's... Oh, God, Jesus. Wait, I'm in the way. I'm in the way of me. That's on me, sorry. Gunvolt! It's been, like, forever, dude! These guys... Are they illusions made from Chibi's memories? You... You're... Uh, hold on. Hold up. You forgot my name? That's like mega rude. It's genius hacker Tessio, BT dubs. Hold up. <laughs> hold up, dude. Hold up. I want to punch this little fucker, but the voice is so hold on. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, so I when it, when I got this script, by the way, like I read this, right? And I was like, it's genius hacker Tessio, by the way. And they were like, we can, no, let's, like, my casting, casting director looked me in the eye. She was like, we can make that way fucking worse, right? I was like, oh, God, can we? She's like, could you, could you do one take? Could you try a take with BT dubs? And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but for real, I gotta introduce you guys. Here's my new partner. It's just Marathel. Hello. I want to go home. I, <laughs> I love... So that other character... So this is a tag team boss fight where me and that other character, Merrick, fight the player character. Uh, and, and Merrick's little, I want to go home, is so good. It's so good. This guy spends all his time on 4chan and Reddit for sure. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So the, the issue with him... So here's the problem, right? So he is one of those people who does not realize... He is as annoying as he is. He doesn't say things to be offensive or to be cringy. Uh, he's just trapped in a different, like, era of the internet vernacular and, like, like slang. And he's very enthusiastic and he means well and he just wants friends. But here's the sad lore. He doesn't realize he's so annoying no one wants to be friends with him. That's his lore. But don't feel bad for him because he's actually a piece of shit. Okay? <laughs> he's actually a little piece of shit. <laughs> Tragic, yeah. It's, it's a skill issue. It really is. Um, chaotic, thank you so much for the 50 stream streak. I appreciate that. Just like me for real. Me in middle school. Yeah, so he, he's very overbearing. But you're bringing down the mood, dude. You're too much, man. LOL, LOL. Anyhow. Yeah, originally I did a giggle, like I did like a <laughs> like kind of thing. And and again, my casting director, she was just like, Can what what if you said the L's and the the O's um separately? So that so people hated that line. They were like, Oh my god, I hate that he says L O L O L O L And I, I was I, I was like, that, that was my old. choice. She's probably like twenty he keeps a blade of grass on his desk mops. so he can touch grass. Mops. Yeah, touch Almost grass. Years of first community meetings. Let's kick cancer's butt. Yo, no. Fallen, thank you so much Third for the thirty-four months. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much for showing up for me and for the kids. Thank you very, very much. How do your voice not just give up? Um, I did have to take a couple breaks during this session just due to the fact that. Uh, so you'll you'll hear here in a second. Reading the dialogue wasn't as bad. But I had to do a bunch of takes for what are called efforts, which are just sort of the, the sounds you make. Uh, like the, like, me attacking, me getting hit, um, me just having, like, little uh, fight scene banter. Um, so during that, there was, like, a lot of yelling. Yeah, the link sounds. Yeah, exactly. Like the hot, huh? Yeah, like kind of shit. Um, so... Which is like a majority of, of voice acting in video games is you actually just do a million efforts and then they take like four of them. Uh, and then you, you just hear that 50 times during like whatever fight scene you're in. Um, so that is where my voice started giving out because I had to do like, you know, ultimate attack style like call outs and stuff. Uh, so I, I did take a couple breaks, uh, which my casting director is the one who called for them. 
where she was like, uh, I heard, you know, she was like, wait a second, I, I, I heard your voice, like, falter a tiny bit at the very end of that last take. Let's just take, like, a, a quick, like, two-minute breather, you know, drink some water and, like, you know, warm up your voice again, let it just, like, rest, um, and then we can do more takes. So it very much, like, uh, very caring, uh, very understanding uh, director for this game. Really awesome to work with, like, super good direction and, and uh, definitely cares about uh, her voice actors that she works with. So, that was good. This is what you were all waiting for. Super Test AO time starts now. <laughs> and then you get the, then you get to fight these two assholes at the same time. You go to get revenge on Gunvolt and all, but who said the great genius Mare had to come up with this bozo? Nobody asked me. Come on. <laughs> so like even Merrick, my partner in this game, hates me. There had to be somebody else, like Joda or Viper or something. Even that magnetic gorilla would be better. By the way, this boss fight is really hard. The efforts are so good. Thank you. I only did eight thousand of them. <laughs> Jeez, this is so lame. Why do I have to put a tank in this party? It's a total waste to have a genius like me in the front line. This looks insane, yeah. We're in a fight. Don't feel like fighting, just let us through. Fighting here is just wasting our time. When did I say I didn't want to fight? I'm here to gank you. <laughs> I'm here to gank you, is what Merrick said. I'm here to gank you anyway. Fighting is a waste of time? You don't feel any guilt at all, do you? I really hate that. I won't deny the blood on my head. Gank? Yeah, it's a term that means kills right. It's uh, especially used by chronically online League of Legends players. You have the right to do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, I really don't need that. You can all three of you just leave me and die for me real quick. Oh, Jungle, by the way, I have been working on some not at a lady, and now you're here with another chick. The only thing that I wish about whoever recorded this is they turned down the sound effects and turned up the voices a little bit. Because that is the, one of the other things that's super distracting in these games is there are these cutscenes playing while you're fighting. That's another reason why I haven't played this one for you yet is... There's no way I'm going to get through this. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to beat my own boss fight. No way at all. Yeah, not the news flash. He is my serious. subordinate. So you're not exactly oh. wrong. Super move. This is stressing me out. Crazy. Noisy. Fortress. Go. I have no idea how anyone can pay attention to both. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's getting now. Are gonna be wild. Talk to me. Yo, what's up, Pano? You're just giving him what he wants. These types just want to get a rise out of us. If you just go along well, with it a bit, well. it's not so bad. Anyway, OMG, lol, this guy is living in the dark ages. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's even making fun of my character. This guy's living in the dark ages because OMG and lol. Well, well, well. Left on Earth yeah, that's the fanfic like mention. Th so this, this community is so rabid in Japan, there is tons of fan fiction for the series. It's an ADHD nightmare, it really is. Yeah, my brain's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Already over. So that that line is like that. Come on, slothful experiments. My betters will make sure you're easy and flashy. Like that that character, my character is doing a direct call out to the Japanese fandom for all the fanfics out there. That's the funniest part about that. It's like very meta humor. Also, uh, so my partner Merrick can hit me in this fight. So one of the lines is me just surprising, like in pain, just being like, Merrick! Ah! Like every now and then. Because uh, if you line them up right, you can have my character get hit by my partner. Barry never makes it back across the river stick again. Your fate is sealed. Transmission gets Eric. Yeah. Eric. <laughs> Where are you playing? Let's go. GB. Tell me their weakness is grass. Uh, it's actually swords and lightning. Ruin heresy. 
Also, Centennial, thank you so much. Getting sleepy. Can you believe this? That's, not, that's me dying. I died. I got fucking killed. Centennial, thank you so much for the $15 to St. Jude. Thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you, St. Jude, for how your research helped my mama on her journey this past year. Hell yeah. I love that. Like, truly. Thank you so, so much for sharing. And uh, thank you for the $15 to St. Jude. Helping out an incredible cause. Truly. Um, slight disappointment, but it is the successor to the X-Series. Yeah. Uh, there's There are members of the original X team that worked on this. Uh, it's not as popular as Mega Man X. It's not quite the same games, but they're trying some new stuff that I find really interesting uh, over at Inti. So I'm not against it. I think it's cool that they're even, you know, keeping, since Capcom doesn't want to do too much with the, the franchise of Mega Man X, they're, they're trying some neat stuff. They are. That said, they're really, really very, very hard games. <laughs> you got downvoted, yeah. <laughs> CJ, hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Um, someday I'll I'll try to play those games on stream. We'll see. It's super cool entirely, and that is a genre that needed love for sure. Yeah, literally looks so hard. Yeah, there's people who like speed run these games. That's the type of game they are. That said, I will not be doing I'll be putting it out on the easiest mode. I will probably die a thousand times. Uh, I will have to look up a guide on how to unlock that boss fight. Because technically, I, <laughs> me and uh, Merrick, the other character, um, were the, the first DLC bosses that got added through that DLC pack. So, yeah. Is the sticker purple? I'm colorblind, so I think so. There you go. Um, but yeah. Sorry. I was going to put my water down, and then uh, I decided I needed another drink. So there we go. That's it. Uh, Teseo um, is a... Obviously, that is Azure Striker Gunvolt 3, so that's the third game in the series. And like I said, they have a million spin-off games, and the franchise uh, is pretty big. Um, they have Gunvolt 1 and 2. Uh, so there is a chance that this character at some point gets franchised, and I'm able to, like, if they, like, decide to localize the first and second game, I'll get to do the official dub voice, and it'd be the official English dub voice. Um for Teseo. Uh, again, huge shout out uh, to uh, Tonomori uh, Ishihara, Ishihara-san. Fantastic seiyu, fantastic uh, voice actor. Um, just want to honor his legacy as much as I can uh, by by doing as good of a westernized approach to the character as I can. So, really cool stuff. It's cool to say I have a seiyu for the role, though. My gay sims had a science baby in The Sims, which I didn't know was an option. Let's go, lesbians. Hell yeah, lesbians. <laughs> Love that for you. Love that for your sims. Congratulations to them. My streamer. Oh my god, Beans, thank you. Yeah. Anyone here, your streamer is doing more voice acting tomorrow. So hopefully me playing Layers of Fear tonight will not kill my throat too much. That said, uh, I've been talking so much, and I haven't let any of you talk. But it is Selfish Sunday, so I get to take the stage, right? If you have any good news, feel free to share that here in the chat. Would love to read your good news. It doesn't have to be anything big as long as it's something that we can all comfortably enjoy together. Uh, share some good news. Make sure that you are congratulating each other. And then once good news is over, I will put on these wacky little glasses for 30 minutes and play some Layers of Fear, which is going to suck. <laughs> it's going to be the worst, actually. Um, good news. I got a new phone today. Oh, hell yeah, Sally. Love a good upgrade. I need to get an upgraded phone, but they're just so expensive, so it might be a little bit. I uh, can't remember. I, no, I'm not paying off this one anymore, fortunately, but uh, <laughs> I feel like I've had it forever, you know? I feel like I've had it forever and ever. Um, hold up. Wow, I have a bunch of notifications for some reason. Good news. I just commissioned Shira. I'm very excited to see what they do. Oh, my gosh. Shira makes such cool art. Shira, at some point, I will be 
uh, sending you a large lump sum of money so that you can design a tattoo for me in your style so I can get that tattooed somewhere. My sunburn is finally healed. I'm usually good at putting on sunscreen because I'm ginger, but I didn't and I paid the price. Oh no, so sorry that that happened to you, but I'm glad that it's all healed up. Switch from Apple to Samsung. A lot of people are doing that. I don't think that there's like a wrong choice, you know, I'm not, I'm not part of that war, but you know, a phone's a phone. Good news, I survived my first week of work at my new job. Heck yeah, Melanie, proud of you. Kicking butt. I, I think as long as you're happy, whether you're an Apple or Android user or whatever, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Shure's art's so fucking good. Yeah, for real, though. Good news, I'm two months away from moving and had a little barbecue with friends where we swam and ate food and did bad trivia. I love that. That sounds like such a classic, like, summer party. That sounds great. Love that for you, Loy. Good news, year's almost over. I'm tired just thinking about all the stuff I gotta do, but ready to go home. Made myself cry today also, but it was a good cry. Uh, not as in happy cry, but good as in cathartic. Yeah, sometimes we just need a good release. I'm glad that you're uh, getting excited to go home, though. That's wonderful. Good news, 12 days of my mom's treatment. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad to hear that your mom is getting that treatment. Thank you again for helping future generations, uh, the kids and families at St. Jude, with your very generous donation earlier, Centennial. Good news, I'm in chat full of cuties, and also I'm gonna go get a snack. Beans, enjoy that snack. Thank you for being here. Good news, I just got off work and it's not even 1 a.m. yet. Oh, heck yeah, that's wonderful. I'm glad that hopefully you can kick back and just get some good relaxing time in uh, as we welcome in the fresh week. I don't know how I'm as tired as I am already when the week just started, but then I also, I turned to Morgan and I was like, I don't remember the last time I, I took a full day off. I gotta do that soon. I, I can't be a bad role model that way. I, I really hate doing that to myself. It's not healthy. It's mostly because I wanted a good camera for less than $1,000. Yeah, I, I feel ya. I understand. Especially because Apple nerfs their cameras sometimes. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. Good news. I have a call with a job recruiter tomorrow about a pretty good job. Hell yeah, Austin. Let's go, dude. Yeah, good. Glad you remembered too, man. Because if you had forgotten that. Oh my god. <laughs> I, would, I would force you to play uh, iPhone Battleship. And that no one wants to do that. Good news, I got to have a sleepover slash party this weekend with my besties, and on the way back today, got to meet up with an art friend. I haven't seen IRL in a literal decade to pick up stuff I bought from her, and she gave me some freebie stuff too. Oh, love that. So, so happy. So happy you got to do that, Liz. Sounds like a lovely time catching up. And not the battleship. No one wants to do that. Ethan's the only one who sends me battleship requests, and boy, oh boy, what a game that is. <laughs> um... I want, you know, I I like pool. I like eight ball. I like iPhone eight ball, and I like uh, like chess and I like checkers. But Battleship, man, that's it, that's pure RNG. You know, I know there's strategies out there, but it's mainly RNG. Let's not let's not fool ourselves here. You know. <laughs> Thank you again, to everyone joining. By the way, tonight, um, I I started so late. Uh, I've been streaming. A lot. My schedule's been getting thrown out of whack by me having to skip days here and there because of health stuff and just watching out for myself to make sure I don't burn out because, and I don't want to set a bad example burning out. And I want to take care of myself because I'm not young anymore and I will die if I don't take care of myself. So, <laughs> uh, thank you for bearing with me. Good news, kind of long, sorry, all good. I finally impulsively bought the board game I've been wanting to uh, buy for years but hadn't yet because I didn't have anyone to play it with. Like an hour later, some new friends I made invited me over for a game night, and we played the game I got, and they loved it. Felt like I was actually getting the social college experience after three years. Just felt so grateful and had so much fun. Bathy, I love that for you so much. That's so, so lovely. Truly. Darts is fun but annoying. I don't think I've played iPhone Darts. Austin, next game. iPhone Darts. Just hit me that I've known her as long or longer than I've known Tess. Definitely longer than Tess, and I have been together. Oh my god, that's a long time. That's like Morgan. So Morgan got a tattoo with her best friend recently, right? Uh, and I was like, hey, we haven't gotten a tattoo yet. And I wasn't like mad or anything. I was just like, hey, we didn't we didn't get a tattoo yet together. And she was like, I've known Nikki longer than you. I, I've known my friend longer than you. Um, so that, that was I was like, yeah, that's true. That does that uh, there is a I had to get in line. That's true. So it's kind of wild, right? Uh, Streamer Hunter, enjoy your lurk. Thank you again for your generosity earlier. Thank you so so much for those ten gifted. That was. Super nice. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck on your voice acting journey. 
Last Battleship game I played with someone, it took us three weeks. Yeah, oh my god. That's the other problem when I, I play any iPhone game with uh, Ethan, is he just, he'll do one move and then forget that we were playing it for like two days and like just text me stuff and then I'll, I'll have to like be like, dude, they didn't ever do your turn in the game. And then he has to scroll back up and do his turn. Good news, one of Faye's uncles graduated high school today. I also helped my best friend start moving some of her stuff yesterday. We aim to knock the rest out on Tuesday. Oh, hell yeah, Fallen. Congrats to your family. It's lovely. And uh, good luck with all the moving uh, with your best friend. Good news, I did laundry and went on a walk. Also currently have cocoa beans cuddles. Ah, I'm so glad that you had a, a nice relaxing slash productive day there, Silver. Heck yeah. Love that. The noise I just made at that. <laughs> so many noises that are going to be made tonight. I can't wait to play Layers of Fear. Oh, wait. Yeah, Layers of Fear 1. Hold up. Let me update the title of the stream since now we know it is being played for the next, uh, I don't know, it's however long I end up playing this. Uh, layers of layers like ogre like Shrek. Layers like Shrek of fear. And then the content warnings in there. Alright. Swap it over to the game. Layers of fear, baby! Boy, oh boy, do I love this game. It's so good. It's so cool. Shrek of fear. <laughs> Shrek. Shreks of fear. <laughs> oh, God. God, we have so many quotes from Layers of fear. Just so, almost too many. And by almost too many, I mean definitely too many quotes from Layers of Fear. It's it's a game that is haunt, as you can see, has haunted me since at least 2020. When did the original come out? Wait, when did the original Layers of Fear come out? Let me check. Original Layers of Fear came out in 2016. So it's an eight-year-old game. And it's tortured me for i'm guessing probably four to six years now gonna go feed the animals real quick so i don't have to leave uh during any fear bits probably a good idea gray lady friends i'm starting to get a headache and i need to go to bed for work in the morning tay thank you so much for hanging out really appreciate you like truly thank you so so much for dropping by hope that you get some wonderful rest um good luck at work hope that it goes super smooth for you um Oh yeah, chat. I forgot to ask a uh, cat. Uh, my friend Cat Scratch. Cat just DM'd me on Instagram, um, asking if after last night's Madagascar reading, if I read the cast list. Obviously, I read the cast list, but I went back and I looked up a couple scenes from the Madagascar movie. By the way, uh, if based on since I haven't watched the movie yet, um, I love Cat. Yeah, Cat is one of my favorite people. Uh, since I haven't watched the movie yet, I will give Madagascar based on the script alone. Um, a 6.5 out of 10 but there's a very good chance it's going to be much higher than that when, whenever I actually watch the movie because you have all said the movie itself is really good but if I have to base it just off of the text of that movie 6.5 out of 10 uh, it doesn't read well um, that said <laughs> uh, I, went, I, I found a clip of King Julian who I was like I'm King Julian like when I was reading it Oh boy, was I off the mark on that voice. <laughs> like, oh wow. I I was in a different kingdom. The princess was in a different castle with that voice. Because everyone was like, oh, it's so funny that Brian picked like this. I'm King Julian and I demand this and the thinking of the thoughts with my head of heads. You know, like whatever the hell he, he's like insane. Um... So mad I fell asleep. I gotta go through the body. It was unhinged by the end of it. Um, and then hearing the actual King Julian voice uh, was so funny. Because it was like a YouTube short that was like, <laughs> like, and now comedy with King Julian, everyone's favorite stand up, royal stand up comedian. And then he came out, and I'm not gonna do the voice, but it was just, it was very funny. It was very, very funny. Um, Yo, thank you so much, Cerule. Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? What were you up to? Raising money for the kids in St. Jude, I'm assuming. Thank you for your amazing hard work. 
Thank you, thank you. Loved your take on it. Thank you. Again, as someone who didn't see Madagascar ever and didn't even want to look at the the uh, the cast list so that it was all, you know, me giving them voices based on vibes. That was one of the more um, entertaining script reads that I've done. And I'm very glad that the community enjoyed the voices that I picked out for everyone. Also, man, finding out that... Um, uh, What's his face was voiced by Chris Rock and not the Jerry Seinfeld style voice I gave him was a little crazy. It went a little bit crazy. Who's your favorite character? Uh, probably probably Melman. Oh, Marty was the name of the yeah was Chris Rock. Marty was Chris Rock. Uh, but Mel I liked Melman. He was kind of funny. His character development was a little bit odd. He seemed like it was somewhat rapid. To go from germaphobe to suddenly swinging on the vines. But I also think that the screenplay I read, or the script I read, might have left out some of the, the big moment details where things actually emotionally built up in any sort of discernible way. We're kicking butt, but we're vibing while we uh, did some coloring. Oh, I love that. That's so fun. Your Marty was better. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, if you're brand new here, please read the rules so you don't get timed out by me, Ahmad, or Nightbot. I would hate to have that happen to you, especially because we're about to uh, activate one of the St. Jude incentives for my month of fundraising, where I have to put on these goofy glasses for half an hour and play the horror game Layers of Fear, which I don't want to do. Um, that said, if you're into that, Stick around. Uh, we have a content warning uh, uh, command, so exclamation point CW, if you want to uh, uh, read all of the icky bits in this game. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's joining me this late at night. Oh, yeah, and if you don't know me, hello, hi. My name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbeagley. Uh, I am a Korean-American uh, full-time Twitch partner, YouTuber, voice actor. I do a little bit of everything from playing AAA games, playing indies. I open up Pokemon cards. I do some cosplay. Uh, you name it. Um, but welcome on in. Thank you. Like, there there we go. Pumpkin Spice Latte Girl cosplay from a couple years ago. Um, if you decide to follow, thanks so much for helping my humble little community grow. If you don't decide to join Late Night Gang, as we like to call ourselves, that's okay as well. Um, I won't take that personally. I've been doing content for 11 years. You're not going to vibe with everyone's energy. It's literally impossible to do that. Uh, there's going to be people who are completely inoffensive to you that you still go eh, i'm just not into their content i'm not into their energy whatever i will follow them that's okay i won't take that personally but thank you very much for hanging out thanks so much for joining thanks uh for supporting Saruli, raising money for the kids i like the idea of like um th there was a, a sub goal plan on our way up to the girl week sub goal which is still set at 700 by the way uh, but there was an idea for a while that we're going to do like a body doubling stream for one of the sub goals or tip goals I don't know if chat's still into the idea of that, but that would be kind of cool to do. Like, just do a body doubling stream where, like, I'm putting together, like, Legos or, like, a Gundam model or something. And then chat gets to, like, color or write or draw or, um, you know, you know, knit, put together Legos of your own, whatever. I think that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of fun. Can I ask the meaning behind your username? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I am a very big, like... Uh, fan of the show Invader Zim because I'm an old head. I've been around for a long time. Back when all of my shows were just about a bunch of neurodivergent little dudes trying to get along, right? Pretty much, it's, it's funny. I had the, had the thought last night, right? Most of the cartoons I grew up with were just a bunch of neurodivergent little dudes trying to get along with each other. Most of the anime I watched was just like dudes trying to get over their imposter syndrome. <laughs> and those, those, were, those were the two forms of media I, uh, I just guzzled up you know um <laughs> unlurk made it home streamer hunter i'm so glad you made it home safe welcome back uh you're making me feel listen i, I I'm, I'm getting up there in the years you know uh very telling yeah it's almost like it's defined my entire personality love invaders Zim. yeah so you're probably aware then of the character gur uh my favorite character i have some plushies back there of gur that people have gifted me uh, I just caught a stray. Yeah, it happens. It happens here. You're in the splash zone where I talk about being old and then you have to feel the oldness creep into your bones, right? Um, but yeah, I love the character Gur. Uh, and also when I was a little kid, um, I, I mean, still to this day, my favorite breed of dog is a beagle. Uh, and when I was a kid, I called beagles beagly, like beaglies. So... Um, 
when I made this username, I made this username, I don't know, 15 years ago or something like that. I mushed together Gur and Beagley. It was especially back like in the era of content creators having weird names. Now everyone, I've, it, like everyone just goes by like their regular name or they have like a realistic like stage name. Like I could have been like, I don't know, Brian, like whatever, like Brian gameplay and like the, <laughs> something like more straightforward. Instead, it, like, everyone had a weird username back when I first started making content 11 years ago. So, so Kyle used that one. That's that's cool. I've, I've, I've used that for years on the internet. So, I'll use that as my username to make content, too. You know? So, that's why Gur Beagley came about. Uh, Ryu, get some wonderful rest. Thanks so much for dropping by. I hope if you go to the zoo, you have a great time. Thank you for joining us. Um, feel old as a 22-year-old? I'll let you know this, Streamer Hunter. When I was in my 20s, I felt like I was older than my years, but also then I hit my 30s and I realized I didn't know that much in my 20s. Uh, I might have been tired out by life, but I, I had so much to learn and to grow from. And uh, I got to say my 30s have been my favorite decade, uh, like truly. I feel really, really good about them. I feel a lot more secure in who I am. Um, if you ask my mom, your legal name is Brian Gerbeagley. <laughs> it was to the internet for a very long time, you know? Uh, that's more creative than mine? Hey, it's listen, now everyone just yeah, you mean like Daniel Howell and like Ethan Nestor rebrands, exactly. Yeah, that that kind of thing where it's just like people saying their names. It's like, yeah, my my brand is just my name. And now everyone's doing that, so like I'm like, oh god, I'm the adult with the fucking weird username. Like you know what? Sean's in there with me too though, right? You got the jack stuff there? Uh, yeah, that's funny you just said that streamer hunter, because yeah, same same brain, you know. Is Sean is Jacksepticeye. guy? He's stuck with like the the cringe uh, username too. So him and me riding off in the sunset, <laughs> dying of old age. Um, but yeah, it was a different time on the internet. But I've I've been using Gerbeagley for a long time. So I hope that answered your question. So there you go. There you go. Yep, 30s rule. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Alex McKnight. It's, uh, it feels like you're 20s, but you just know a lot more. You're more secure in the things that you're uh, into. Again, like sort of my rant earlier about like, if I don't like something, if something's not fun to me, if it's not serving me and my time, I'm just not going to do it. I'm going to use that time and allocate that towards something that helps me feel, you know, happy. Uh, and, you know, that's not to say that I'm not going to face challenges head on and know that there's going to be moments of life that aren't going to be fun or that are going to be tough. I'm not going to be unrealistic and toxically positive like that. But there is uh, lots of times where optional things, like I don't have to engage with stupid discourse on social media if I don't want to. If I go, wow, that discourse, people are sending death threats over which video game's better. What a bunch of fucking idiots. I don't have to be a part of that. I'm going to use that time to go play a video game I like and not even have to talk about it online. That's how I navigate in my 30s. In my 20s, I would have been like, oh no, fuck you, Xbox, P it's Sony, PlayStation, better. You know, like, ah, oh, PC is better. Like, no, it's not worth my fucking time. Who cares? In your 30s, you become more secure in who you are. You uh, try to pursue and prioritize your peace a little bit more. Um, you're still not great at everything, but you also know that you're thir you're still young enough in your 30s and even your 40s where you're allowed to make some mistakes and still bounce back from it. Nothing is the end of the, the road. It's just a curve in it, you know? And sometimes you got to hit a dead end and turn around and go back to the fork in the road and go down the other fork. It just happens sometimes. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing that can happen to you. So... Um, that's the way that I've looked at my 30s and looked at life through the perspective of my 30s. So anyone in your 20s, you got plenty of time. If you feel like you don't know what you're doing or you're confused about like where you want to end up, people in their 30s feel that way as well. We're all on the same journey at our own paces, heading towards whatever destination we end up at. No one has lived your life to the end of it yet. You're the one living it right now. So no one has the right to tell you, you have to do X, Y, and Z, or you're not going to get here. No one has the right to tell you that because they didn't live your whole life yet. They're not on the deathbed at the end of your life. You're the one who gets to go on your adventure and your journey and figure your shit out yourself. 
And if you make a mistake, you're the one who has to deal with it. But that's sort of the freedom of being an adult, you know? So there you go. But yeah, I like I like the shit that I like a lot more. I'm more secure on that. I don't listen to people I don't respect, you know? Uh, it's it's the old adage, right? Of like, don't take advice from, uh, uh, what is it? Don't take criticism from people you wouldn't take advice from. I live by that shit. I pursue and I protect my peace. And if it, if there's something that does not serve that, there's a, there's a very high likelihood I'm not gonna engage with it. Drama, not for me. Fucking infighting amongst groups of friends, fucking not for me. You know, getting involved with online discourse with a bunch of strangers that I'm never going to know what they look like or hear from again. Not for me, bro. Absolutely not worth it. I respect myself too much, and I especially respect my limited time too much. That's the way that it be. There you go. What if we find someone who has lived our life to the end of it? I mean, it's a clone, and then you have to fight the death. And then to absorb the other the other clone, you know? So if you lose that, they've lived the true life. And then if, um, you know, they lose that and you absorb them, I think it's a, like a level up power up moment where you get like the life experiences and you actually get like some clairvoyance about a little bit of your future. But then you can like be like, oh, but now I can prevent this thing from happening, you know? So there you go. Uh, some good news, I forgot to say, my uncle came to visit for a couple days and we've been eating good. Yesterday we went to a nearby Chinese restaurant and didn't know until we got there that they had two Michelin stars. It was good. Damn, nice, love that. Love that, yeah, the future clones out there. Be careful of them. And you create a, t a tear in the space-time continuum. Yeah, that's so fun. And then you put everyone in jeopardy because of your selfish deci decision to battle yourself, your own clone. Which is like the and then absorb that clone, which is like really when you think about it, the most selfish thing you could do is absorb yourself. You become a little bit self-absorbed, am I right, chat? Um anyway. This is my last stream. I'm going to walk into the ocean and never surface again. Um <laughs> Lady Saga, what's good? Hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Listen, we all know the murder hornet incident was because someone tore time and space. It happens. That's true. That was a scary year. It was like bad news, bad news, bad news. Murder hornets. And I was like, where's the huge asteroid? Just wipe us off the face of the, the universe. Please just fucking come. It's not worth it. You know? Frizanaki, hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. What the heck? Did we get just back-to-back -back rated here? Oh, my God. Mandy, hello. Happy birthday. By the way, everyone better be saying happy birthday to Oh My Mandy. Mandy, how was your stream? What were you up to? Thank you so, so much for vibing. Appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you. Yo, what's up, Marcel? If you uh, don't follow Mandy, please do so for her birthday. Wish those happy birthdays to Mandy. Uh, also, follow MD14 there in the chat. MD, Marcel, fantastic energy in the space. One of my favorite people ever. Um, what happened with those hornets? I don't know. Apparently, some of them are still around, but they, they had a pretty uh, concentrated, like, elimination protocol. And they got rid of a bunch of them, is what I heard. Uh, because they were an invasive species. They, like, were not supposed to be here. So, uh, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of places contain them. Obviously, you can't always contain nature, so there are probably some still around. Uh, if you're brand new here, by the way, please read the rules so you don't get timed out by Mia Mod or Nightbot. Uh, what were you all doing for uh, Mandy's birthday? Please let me know. Obviously, raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Probably don't have to explain what we're doing this month for that. But uh, thank you for helping out my wonderful friend Mandy. Raising that money. Yeah, heck yeah, Mandy. Super proud of you always. Happy birthday again. Um... If you don't know me, hello, hi, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbeagley. Uh, I am a Korean-American, uh, full-time Twitch partner, YouTuber, and voice actor. I do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, I do AAA games, play indies. I open up Pokemon cards. I do some cosplay from time to time. That's me. That's actually me. Pumpkin Spice Latte Girl from a couple years ago. 
Uh, can you wait until August to walk into the ocean and never come back? I prepaid for my sub until then. I d Loy, I did tell you there is a risk of you subbing in advance as much as you do. There's there's a big risk. You never know what I'm going to do. Um, you don't. You have no idea. You I always tell people, I'm like, oh, you subbed like three months in advance. I hope I don't get canceled before then. Because then you have a problematic content creator's emotes. Then I'm going to have to cancel you. I'm going to be the one who cancels you. All right. Thank you. Oh, by the way, thank you, Mods, for giving a shout out to Marcel as well. Marcel is just a, a wonderful, wonderful human being. Both Mandy and Marcel deserve your support, chat. I honestly had to check when the whole Murder Hornets thing happened just to make sure it wasn't the same year as the clown sightings. <laughs> yeah, because there were so many insane things happening at the same time. It was just like, they kind of blurred together. Like, it was just like bad news, bad news, weird news, bad news, weird, bad news. Like, all one after another that it was just like... Yeah, if they say, like, aliens are invading and about to, like, nuke the planet, I'll just believe that. You know? These are the risks we prepay subs to take. Yeah, for real, though. I don't care if it's still user emotes canceled or not. Oh my god, Marcel, you're so problematic. <laughs> uh, cancel for what? Being cute? Oh my god, stop it. Can you get not spreading lies? On Mandy's birthday, spreading lies. Unbelievable. Can you do it after August because I don't want my birthday month to be Group Eagle Goes Missing Month? <laughs> That's the only... You're like, I don't want my birthday being ruined by your tragedy. That's really selfish of you. Being a Twitcher made something for you? What? What the heck? Uh, I want you to see it first, so is it okay if I DM it to you on Discord? Totally understand if not. So I don't have open DMs on Discord. Um, that said, if you can DM it to me on Instagram, I can always look at it there, because uh, I think that's the only place where I have like DM requests on. Um, otherwise, I will think you can... I'm trying to think of how we can do this. Are you okay with, like, a mod seeing it first? Because I could have a mod grab it from you and then send it to me some way. Being alive is crazy. When you think about it, when you think about the factors that brought us to life, that allowed us to crawl out of the primordial soup, the ooze, and develop the cells to become what we are today with critical thought and everything, although most people on, like, Twitter don't use it. Um, like, that kind of wild kind of wild to think about the factors that like where we get sunlight and fresh air and we have an atmosphere that protects the planet and we circle around just one sun and we have like one moon that that affects our tides and everything like we have like the weird perfect set of conditions like to be us they're kind of kind of crazy when you think about it kind of wild uh, mod seeing it first is fine. I just want it to go through you before the masses. Totally understand. Well, yeah, so um, if if a mod, I don't know, to, sorry to call you out mods, but if a mod wants to DM uh, Sally and grab that, that would be awesome. And then, then you can send it my way. Thank you so much, Sally, by the way. That's so thoughtful. That's really nice. How dare you say my thoughts are critical. <laughs> I don't critically think. I never roll a crit. <laughs> I never roll a 20. I'm of the opinion that you're walking into the ocean to go missing can be planned in advance and we can work out a compromise here. Yeah, just everyone just like, I'm giving you a heads up now. I'm walking into the ocean to never be seen again. Just work your schedules around it. I'm sorry if that's inconvenient for some of you, but it would be much more inconvenient for me to continue to not walk into the ocean and go missing. I'm letting you know now, okay? All right? I'm the streamer. <laughs> All right, those of you just joining, by the way, uh, you may recognize these goggles from other streamers' um, St. Jude campaigns. I hate these things. They're very vision limiting. It's like putting on beer goggles. They're like tunnel vision automatically. Um, I have to wear these based on how much was donated for 30 minutes while I played the horror game, Layers of Fear. Which is already scary enough, so to have my vision deprived from me while I, I can kind of, like, look through those little pinholes like it's a freaking VR headset is going to be awful. <laughs> it's going to be the worst. Um, so that's going to be happening here in a moment. I hate these things. You guys see these before, by the way, if they... 
Chat, I'm totally sober. What would make you think that I'm not? Um, that's going to be the thing that we're doing tonight. And then uh, after 30 minutes, I'll be freed from those, and I will probably still be playing the horror game, so it doesn't really matter. I won't have escaped the misery that you have inflicted upon me. Honestly, though, with my voice acting session tomorrow, it's probably better I didn't play Jump King because I would have lost my voice screaming at Jump King. So this actually worked out. This actually worked out. Uh, might, might block some spooky scares. No, it actually does the opposite. So this is the second or third stream I've done this particular game with this particular set of glasses. And it makes it awful because it's almost sensory depri deprivation where I, I normally I can see the whole screen. So if something moves in the corner of my eye, I can turn or I can run away from it. I can react to it a lot quicker. With this, because I can only see little pinholes of everything, I have to move my head around looking at my screen to see where noises and crap came from. And then it ends up being awful beyond words. It, it's way scary to not know what it, if something is chasing me or not. DMD, oh, thank you, thank you. The glasses ah, ah, ah clip is timeless. Yeah, I put up a clip of on, uh, on TikTok and Instagram reels and, and YouTube shorts of me not realizing, because again, the glasses are so vision limiting. Like, I'm not going to be able to read chat very much. I'm just warning you all for the first 30 minutes of this. So mods, thank you for being here. Um, and thank you, chat, for behaving, which you won't because you never do. Uh, but I have a clip where I didn't realize the game wasn't up because I couldn't see OBS. And a scary thing happened in the game. It was a tornado, a supernatural tornado full of doll parts swirling around a room. And I was just sitting here going like, like with this screen, this just chatting screen up, just going, oh no, ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. This is so, this this is horrible. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ah. Like the, the whole time it was and then I uh, I looked over and chat said we can't see the game. So I I really just I just went through that scary thing alone. I was by myself. I didn't have a chat to protect me. It <laughs> it was awful. Um uh, Brand reacting to something we can't see sounds <laughs> stop. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. This is, I like the idea of this. Uh, of what you sent me, but if if you want to post that in the meme section of the the uh, the Discord as well, or the um or the stream content section, that's only if you're comfortable doing so. Other, I mean, I'm gonna show it off here too. But I like the implication of this. So this is what Sally sent. Here, let me turn up the the brightness. Ambassador 2024. Some of you know I'm I'm lobbying for myself this year. I'm trying to become a uh, ambassador for Twitch. Um, it says D Tune versus Gerbigli. Vote today. Uh, I like that the implication there is like Jordan would lose his ambassadorship. If I got mine. Because it's a versus. It's like every time a new ambassador is born, they take the ambassadorship of a previous one. I, you guys know, just to troll him, I would definitely just... I'd be like, hey, I'm ambassador now. I'm taking your title. And you're no longer an ambassador. Just to troll him. That would be 100% my first pick. Um, <laughs> it's just... There's a, a limited number of slots. We have to... <laughs> it's like voting for a senator. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you so much, Sally, for making that. That's so, so funny. I love the implication of that. Being a me versus Jordan. You and Jordan are rivals now? Oh, my God. He, I mean, he blew past me years ago. It's crazy. If I had known what a monster, what a Frankenstein's monster I was about to create by simply sharing his Hey Now, Don't Try This disclaimer song with Mark and Ethan, I'm the one who DM'd them that song. If I had not done that, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be at his CCB. No, no, he absolutely would have built up to it. He would have. He's worked very, very hard. I've seen him work very hard. Uh, but it's, it's very funny to think, like, Jordan was smaller than me when we became friends. And that's kind of the way it's been. 
I've, I'm always the bridesmaid, never the bride. I don't see it as competition. It's a healthy ecosystem of friends supporting each other's content, and that's the way it's always been for me and my particular crew of friends. That's why I keep everyone at arm's length, and I have a very small circle of friends that you hear me talk about. Um, Jordan is someone who would have gotten to where he is eventually, for sure. But it is kind of funny, because when I did send him that song, uh, or when I did send Ethan and, and Mark that song, um, Jordan, I was like, yeah, check out this dude. He's like a smaller streamer. And now he's like... He's like skyrocketed, right? It's like on a bad night, Jordan has like 400 viewers. It's you versus Jordan right now because I'm in between two streams. I need the CCV more than him. I need the clout way more than Jordan. Are you kidding me? I've been doing this way longer than him and I haven't grown nearly as good. I have a much more abrasive, annoying personality. So I need all the benefits here, okay? I need y'all you to side with me. Jordan does the like, oh, I'm the himbo. I have the soft voice. Oh chat oh send me your tiktok so i don't have to work for half the stream because you've given me the content prepackaged. i'll react with my nice soft voice and look at you with my bright eyes and and blink uh I, i'm annoying i'm a i'm a fuck face i need all the support here okay i need conscious support here Brian, I promote small content creators, Gerbigli. Do you know the funniest part about that? So back in the day, during the MySpace era and like the Warp Tour era, like uh, during the scene, I, um, uh, one of my dream jobs was I wanted to be an A&R scout. If you don't know what an A&R scout is, basically their job was they were sent out by uh, record labels. So like whether it was like a, I would, wanted to work for like one of the like punk, like alternative emo record labels, right? And go out and their job was to just go like city to city, venue to venue and find undiscovered talent and like report back about it and see if like the talent was worth signing um, to like, you know, sign sign on a label and blow them up and like fund their tours and things like that uh, and, and just give them a platform to take off from. That was my job. So I, I do kind of have a knack of like picking up friends who then like go beyond me. <laughs> I'm always the one who's like patting them on the back being like, I'm going to like every tweet you put up. I'm going to like every TikTok you put up. I'm going to freaking gas you up and shout you out whenever I can. Again, always the bridesmaid, but like I'm proud to be in the bridal party at all, you know? So I'm, I'm very proud of all my friends who have gone on and done really huge things, really creative, original things as well. So yeah, that's the way that it be. Uh, I've been thinking Ethan made that this whole time. So he made the, the original sound clip on Unisonis, but the remixed like EDM version was made by Jordan. Uh, so that's that's what happened with that, if that's where the confusion is. Ethan made up, that was an Ethan original. That was an Ethan Nestor original, him singing those words during that that video. But the remix, the actual one with the music in it, that was all Jordan. All right, chat, I have to pee so bad. I had two energy drinks today and a whole bunch of water, and that's how I survived today. So if you have to go pee as well, please, 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 um, use this time, go to the bathroom, refill your water, get a snack, please wash your hands. Uh, please remember, this is the only time during the stream you're legally allowed to go pee. Uh, if you use the bathroom at any time outside of a designated pee break, um, you will be killed on sight. Uh, the mods do have swords. They are sharpened to lethal uh, sharpness. So just a heads up, you will be breaking the law. And we do believe in capital punishment, So um, at least in this stream chat. So uh, just, just a heads up on that. But I will be back. I'm going to leave you with Wide Bernie and each other. So if you're here and you jam out to tunes and hang out, just be good. And then when I'm back, it's going to be 30 minutes of goggles and then maybe maybe a little bit of extra depending on how I survive 30 minutes of goggles. You might just only get 30 minutes of goggles tonight because um, it's Selfish Sunday. And I have my name on the channel, not you. Ha, 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 What is the system notification? What the hell? Go away, Windows. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm up. Tonight's been on
Alright everyone, who's ready for the Sunday Scaries? It's about to happen. It's about to be a whole thing. Kia, if I didn't say hi to you. Hello, hi. We have Key and Kia. Sorry. Alex Cla Alice Class. Hello, hi Alice. Welcome back, nerd. <laughs> we could hear you pee, pee Don't say that, did, could you? Wait, did my fear finally come true that I accidentally left my mic unmuted and then you guys could hear me peeing? No? Okay. <laughs> that is a legitimate fear of mine. I have a... Don't do that. <laughs> I, have an, I have a legitimate fear that I am, <laughs> I'm going to leave my mic on when I step away from the computer, right? And my bathroom is right next to my office, right? And that you guys are going to hear me pee. That I'm going to pee so loud that it's going to pick up on the microphone. And you guys are going to hear my pee. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Keanu, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Valid fear. Thank you for validating me. Oh my god, I had to do it once, I'll never do it again. Oh my god, there's, oh god, there's streamers who keep that, or uh, streamer communities that keep those types of jokes going forever. I honestly don't mind it, it's fine. It's fine, it's actually very funny to find out that you were lying. <laughs> Loud pisser? I, I mean, it's, it's possible, just because it hasn't happened, or that it's unlikely doesn't mean it won't happen. <laughs> Pee that can cut concrete? I, I like the chats making a bunch of assumptions about how strong my P stream is. Like, have we have we gone? Has science gone too far? Keanu, thank you so much for the three stream streak. By the way, thank you. Happy to start a streak up upon finding you. Thank you. I did. Uh, I did prep a little bit here, chat. I did have. Um, a little bit of an herbal supplement to help my brain handle what I'm about to dive into. You guys ready for layers of fear? I've been in the layers of fear category for like an hour. <laughs> I haven't played the game <laughs> like a pressure washer. I mean, I, listen, I built up a big falling playing power wash sim. 
rocket around the room because you're pissing so <laughs> stop this is getting weird <laughs> this is getting we're just talking about i feel it's not like it's actually that weird because it's like kind of funny right but like <laughs> the topic when you when you like stop for a second and you break it down and you really think about it you guys are talking about this the the pressure of pee coming out of my body you know like you, if you break it down and you stop to think about that that's what's being talked about here Okay. Yup, and yeah, <laughs> no, it's like yeah, that is kind of weird. Everyone's just like yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. You're right. We don't stop to think. Oh my god. And you are the subject, chat. I'm so glad that I <laughs> made a pit stop before I came back on the camera here. Ah, uh, my brain is not going to be able to handle the absolute cacophony of weird ideas being thrown around in it in in the chat right now you mean a piss up well i did i yeah that yeah that and yeah <laughs> all right 30 minutes going on the clock thank you to everyone who donated to the children and families of saint jude truly changing and saving lives uh making sure that those families never have to pay a single bill to receive treatment, to receive food, to receive shelter uh, at, you know, you know, or lodging, I should say, at the actual hospital itself, um, including in some of, you know, those really nice apartment buildings there right on campus so that the family can stay together. Uh, kids don't have to be confined to like a weird hospital, you know, bedroom or anything like that. Uh, it's really, really great the work that they do at St. Jude because, again, it doesn't only affect the health of the kids, but the uh, mental health of the kids and their families. Um, all food is covered, all travel, every expense. Thank you. You guys earned 30 minutes of me in the goofy glasses. So put those on, and I'll hit the start timer whenever that, whenever I'm in the game. Ancient said, know thyself. And I think, therefore I am. And we collectively said, nah. <laughs> goofy time. Yeah, it's going to be something. If you've never seen me play a horror game before, Sorry, but you you did this. Oh, God. All right. I hate... I forgot already just how much I hate the sound design in this game. It's so good. We got a child laughing. If something goes wrong, by the way, I will probably not be able to see it because these are just so vision limiting. I don't think and I do not am. <laughs> my turtle's going crazy. Oh, my God. Fellow turtle haver to uh, our mod, Cory. Um, Corey, they have a turtle as well. All right. Ready? I'm hitting start. Go. Okay. We got our big, disgusting fish painting. Hi, chat. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Oh, God. It's like I can't even see my hands. To t what the hell? See, I have to, like, look down like it's real life. If I got caught on that. My love, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. I had to fight uh my wife's ghost a bunch of times last time i played this and it was really bad and now i think i'm about to get on an elevator or not uh never mind nope i was in the repeating hallway from hell stop i don't like the music oh little ducky toy friend of a 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 friend oh lady oh does that mean she's appearing again you already jump scared me one time, my dear. Oh, I can't see how much fuel I have. <laughs> yeah. I can't see how much fuel I have. Stop. What's with the scary music? My t toes are doing a little curl. Stop. Shit, my butt hole. Oh, boy. Hi, chat. Thank you to whoever. Andra Mixis. Thank you for the fart. What the hell, dude? Little doll? Oh, good. Oh, good. All these will move soon. What? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to put that down. That was probably important lore. That was important lore for sure. Oh! Okay. Back in the regular hallway. That really sucked. 
you're so welcome. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Again, if you need content warnings for what's in this game, we do have those content warnings in a command. Exclamation point CW. Just like the old network that showed One Tree Hill and the Vampire Diaries and Supernatural. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit my pants, dude. This sucks way worse with these on. Oh, this sucks so hard. This sucks so, so hard. Don't jump out again at me. Oh, you little dolls. I'm sure I have to go through here to the rat door, don't I? Then I have to go through the rat door, don't I? Nope, never mind. So if I just wait here for the 30 minutes, that like that's not a huge cop-out to everyone, right? Everyone, bad kids get put in the forever hallway. That's where I'm at. Oh, it's a fear layer. Like ogre onion. Like ogre onion, like Shrek. Ogres and onions. I'm trying not to do like YouTuber reactions. I'm not trying to exaggerate shit. I just I talk to myself like this when I'm nervous. Because I'm about to throw up in my own mouth. And then explode into a million bulbs of glass. Does that make sense? No! <laughs> Do I care? Absolutely. fucking Oh, brother! Jesus. This guy stinks! Thank you to... Boy! Was there something I needed over here? Why are all these rooms even here? Why have all these rooms if you're not going to give me cool puzzles that let me get back to the safe room so I don't ever have to see shit in this game again? Dog room. Puppy, protect me, please. I wanted to go in the cat room because I love cats. They're my pals. They're my friends. My friends. Oh, my. Okay, I'll go back down. You don't have to do that. Oh, shit. No, that's the same hallway repeating. Everything is a loop. Oh, shut up. Oh. It's all a loop. Shut your little... Oh! You little poopy sack. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, ominous door! Ominous door! Bruh! Ah. Hold up! <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll pause the timer. I'll pause it. That's only five minutes, dude. That one, I, bro. Oh, I just went into, like, a different dimension. Oh, my God. TikTok noises are going to kill me. Oh. Okay. Timer's back on. I just needed a breather. That wasn't great for me. Hope it was good for you, though. Hello, little door. Hello, little door, little snow. Oh, my mama! There was a dog. A dog. It was a dodge. Oh, God, this is really sad. There was a dog, but it probably died, and then the good, that was probably like a memory of the little kid sleeping on the dogs. Oh, there's no dog anymore. There's a dog eating a child or something. The wolf. The wolf I drew earlier, chat! That's what that was. Hey! How about you fart in your own mouth? No. So I, I'm assuming I have to go to the dog room. I can't see a, a lickety split here. I can't see a poopy whoopums. Um, so I'm guessing the dog is dead. So the dog room was downstairs. When I get to the bottom of the stairs, it's to the left. Okay. Just trying to keep, conserve my fuel. 
What the shit is with the shadows in this game? Oh no! Mama, mama, my wife again. Where did she? Where's my wife coming from? Oh! My wife! Stay away! My wife. Okay. So did she just reform in the same spot over and over? No, that sounds different. Oh, she's there! Okay, I gotta leave. This is as fast as you can run, you dork! You huge dork. I don't know where she's at. He only likes ah! her because she's old. Oh, she's probably like 25! 80 months is far too long. Ho 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 ho! Thanks, uh, Ethan, thank you for the 80 months. It is much too long. Oh my god, she's mother of pearl. Thank you. Um, thanks for the long-term support here in the Cranky Crew. You're not using it anymore. I get to keep it. Oh... I don't know uh, if she's upstairs uh, about to grab my ass or downstairs about to grab my ass, but I'm staying in that little corner on the staircase till she shows herself. I can zap her, and then I'm sprinting down that hallway to the dog door. We get to be the cranky crew now? Yeah, it was unclaimed. It was an unclaimed domain. No one's paying for the .com anymore. He just said yesterday he's keeping it? So selfish, honestly. Really selfish. I wouldn't know, though, because um, I, I don't keep up with anyone's content. I don't watch big YouTubers. Who needs Late Night Gang anyways? <laughs> Added a quote. Oh, God. Oh, here's a fair fart in your own mouth. I guess that was words I said. Oh. Maybe two energy drinks today was a bad idea. My heart feels like it's just got getting punched by very small, small miniature, like, demons. Whew. It was indeed words you said. Okay, good. Because I don't want to be misquoted, you know? I believe in uh, the free spread of information, but not misinformation, you know? We give Brian a heart attack on stream. It could happen someday. Chat, donate to your streamer and I could die. Live on camera. Hello, Nat. Welcome to the stream. I'm in the middle of an awful part of the game where I have to dodge my wife. It's a ghost. It's going to be awful. I don't know where she's at. My wife? I feel like I hear her icky footsteps. But I could be wrong. My wife? Which direction, my wife? My wife. Where is the dog door, my wife? Oh! Mama of worlds! Oh. That was fucking horrendous. Hey, 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 hey. Fuck off. I'm going to find her dog. I got that dog in me. I think. Oh, fuck. Dead end. No, I don't. This is so bad with the glasses, dog. You. No! Oh, my God, I'm fucked. I think I might be fucked. No, I'm not. Okay. That's good. Oh. I need you to back up six feet. I am wearing a mask. Shut up! Oh! Did that kill her? Kill her? Nope. 
Nope. Nope. It definitely didn't. Ah! Shut. Shut your goopy poopy mouth, lady. Oh! Sometimes she appears without the footsteps. Awesome. 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 Okay, Rator. Rator. Oh no, this is the dead end. Fuck me. Oh wait, no, no, no. I gotta go downstairs still. Right? Dude, this is so hard to maintain. Oh! Honey! Where? I don't think I can get out of this corner now. Fuck. Oh, honey! Oh, I'm fucked! I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh, honey. Honey, I'm alive. I almost took the glasses off. I got so scared. Where's that coming from? Oh, she's back in her stupid room. I don't know. I don't know where anything's coming from. I I don't know. Uh, I think I have to go down this hallway to get to the dog room. But I'm not 100% certain. Is this door going to open now? Honey? Honey, you're caught in an audio loop. I don't know where to go. Cat. Cat room. Bitch! Uh. Where do I go? I can't see shit. Power Christ compels you. Or something. Honey, 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 honey. Oh, yeah. Wifey! Rat door again? Where the fuck am I supposed to go, bro? Ah! Hello and afternoon, everyone. Hello and afternoon. Who's hello and afternooning me? My wife! Explode! Yes! Oh my god. Alright, that gives me a second. <gasps> um. Oh boy. I paused the timer, don't you worry. Uh, Yoshi, thank you for the 100 bits. I really appreciate that a lot. <laughs> You're cooked. I might be. I could be. Um. Ira, thank you for the seven stream streak. Thank you so much for spending part of your birthday here. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. Thank you, chat, for wishing a happy birthday to a long term viewer. Yeah, I'm getting too old for games like this. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm getting too old. I can't do this. I can't. I, I don't. I'm not built to survive this shit. I can't believe I can't believe that. I promised also that there'd be like more horror games later in the year. Ah, Christmas. All right, chat. So I just exploded her. I have to find where the hell the dog room is. Um, so I saw the rat room. I think there's one more set of stairs I have to go down, but I literally cannot see because of these glasses. So I've just been running in circles. But I think if I find the stairs down then that will lead me to the hallway with the cat and the dog doors. And I have to obviously use the key in the dog door. Oh, gosh. At least I didn't use my original name tag. <laughs> oh, God. I got to get a drink of water. Those who uh, <laughs> donated for this, by the way, I hope that you've been enjoying the stream so far. My heart's in my ears, chat. It's, it's, uh, yeah. 
Cooked is the least of my worries right now. It's like I'm in the microwave covered in tin foil. Someone put me in there for 10 minutes. Except it's actually half an hour. I still have 18 minutes. Are we ready? One's in the chat if you're ready. I'll take those right now. Uh, I'm not typing one. <laughs> oh, you're all more ready than me. It's so icky. I hate this. I really dislike this shit. All right. <clears throat> Back into the fray we go. Back into the fray we go. We got this chat. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible. All right. Bit. <sighs> okay. So. Okay. Let my lantern come back. She's reforming. You're reformed. You're reformed. You're better than this. I have. Okay. I have fuel on my lantern again. I really wasted that opportunity. Explode! Please. Oh, honey. Okay. So I have, like, very little time to get past her when she reforms. I know where she's at, though, now. Wait, did you warp? Did you warp somewhere completely else? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh! What the shit ass? Why do you do that sometimes? It's the worst. Okay, go, 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 go. Fuck it. Just go. Fuck it. Just go. And then she's gonna be behind me. No, she's in front? You little girl, lady. Oh, I'm in the back. I'm in the same fucking. I'm in the same dead end. Honey, I need you to heck off. You need to frick your frack, you know what I'm trying to say here, lady? There's cat door. Cat door. Why did that sound like she started running, dude? Oh! My dear. Oh, my dear. Can I... Cat door, obviously... Dog key does not go in cat door. But uh, imagine a future where cats and dogs were brought together by cat door. Dog door key. Oh, you little. Little lady. Rat door. No, rat door's not the door I need either. I'm back in the same corner, dude. Honey. We talked about this. If you don't want me to cosplay as Alan Wake and blast you with a flashlight over and over again, you need to stop this whole being possessed by an evil ghost monster thing. I find it a little bit distasteful, if I will be honest. Is the dog... Is, is dog door upstairs? Am I... Is dog door upstairs? I'm back in the fucking building again. Oh my god. I need to... Does anyone remember upstairs or, or the floor I'm on? Or is there actually a downstairs? Does anyone remember? We saw cat... I could have sworn cat door and dog door were on the same floor. But uh, I've just been running in circles and it has not been the case apparently. Any knowers, please. I'm caught in a hell where things keep repeating forever. And it's hurting me. It's hurting my soul so very much. <laughs> While I wait. Give me one second. While I wait. Here, I'll put I'll put this up. No goddamn idea. Someone has to know. By the way, the timer is stopped at the halfway point. I have 15 more minutes of this hell. I only know Elden Ring and Fortnite. Why did I... Why did I have to attract a community of other neurodivergent people who have no memory? 
amongst all of us, none of us have the memory, myself included, ha do not have the memory to remember if the dog door, there's been three animal doors, three, only three. There's I've been either two or three floors. I don't remember that either. But I've seen the cat door. I've seen the rat door. I have not seen the damn dog door again. <laughs> Try six six six, but I it, it's a it's a it's a door with a picture of a dog on it. <laughs> Too real. I've never played that. Yeah, but you just watched me run through the hallway with this door. How do we all forget this? That's what I'm saying. Is this isn't a game knowledge thing? This is a can you remember twenty minutes ago thing. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm the one playing the game, but I also have... I get to see about 1% of the screen because of these things. I only remember the rat door. Me too, because I'm there right now. I keep ending up at the same place. Oh, God. I was playing Sudoku. I'm running for my life. I'm about to die IRL, and you're playing Sudoku. Wow. You want to play a fun memory game, or a fun puzzle game. Well, I'm dying. Well, I'm having real death happen on screen. Breaking TOS for your amusement, and you're playing Sudoku? Well, I'm... I'm breaking TOS? <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering where things are in games. I have zero sense of direction in real life, so it translates into games as well. It's terrible. It's genuinely awful. I, I have no idea where the hell I am in this house. It's gone for five minutes when we're on Super HD screen. Well, not not because of the internet, because I had to do something. But I, I can put it back on game screen. Oh, my head hurts because I don't know where the hell I'm going and I'm just stressed by if I run out of fuel in the lantern, I'll die in the game. Who is the neurospicy focusing on the door slash environment? Me! So I have one part of the puzzle, but you have the other parts. Together, we're Captain Planet. <laughs> I was giving my fish a bath. Oh, God. In a hallway with a door on the left? That's the closest to a hint that I've been given. If you die in the game, you die in real life. I, I will probably be jump scared so hard it might make me feel that way. You're the one with the brain cell? No. This is why I tell people don't look up to me. <laughs> Do not. Oh, God. All right. Well, the Wanderfest continues then. Chad, if I die... It was nice knowing you, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. Going down this way. I think I heard her. Yep. Oh, my God. Why is she so fast? Okay, cat door. I'm at cat door. Rat door's that way. Yes? Oh! Okay. Lady on the wall. I think she's behind me now. No. She's that way now. She's definitely somewhere. Was she falling? Dude, I lost. Oh! Okay. I have to let my fucking lantern restore now. So that sucks. Please, please leave me alone. Oh, God. Shut up. Oh, it's the rat door again! It's the fucking rat door again! 
I'm gonna lose it, dude. I'm gonna lose it. I don't know if this is the game fucking with me, doing, like, the, the circles. I'm gonna... <laughs> or if this is me literally having the worst memory of all time. How is this the rat door again, bro? How is this the rat door again, bro? I'm gonna lose my mind, man. <laughs> oh, God. The dog door is in the room with the cat dog rat no on the side, which is located down a narrow path. That'd be wonderful. I appreciate you, by the way, for looking that up or knowing that. I wish I knew what where that is. That's the problem. Like in rel relative to where I'm at, because I have I I have one percent visibility right now. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. This is the worst. I'm at the fucking rat door again. How am I at the rat door again? But I know the game also, it obviously had me in some repeating hallways earlier. So maybe it's just the game doing that too. To which I would not know. I would not know if that is the case or not. <laughs> I'm in so much. I'm taking psychic damage repeatedly playing this. Can someone draw us a map? <laughs> yeah. Chat, okay, wait. Here's an honest question. I'll put this to the poll, even. Uh, is it... Is it cool if I just, like... I look up, like, a text walkthrough just for this section, just to know if I'm on the right floor or not? Because I'm still going to have to dodge her. I'm still going to have to use the lantern on her. I'm still going to have to actually navigate there. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it up as a uh acceptable solution yes no you have a minute to vote i think i think it's fair personally but vote because some people some people get like funky about that shit you know it's on the second floor i think oh my gosh here while people vote on that i'm gonna vote or i'm gonna look up is the dog door second floor layers of fear? It looks like it is indeed on the second floor. Okay. 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 Looking up a video. Okay. This person with no sense of direction, I would be in tears by now. I, I'm very much in in tears. <laughs> it's, it's the tears are in my voice, though. They're not, I'm not unanimous. Look this up. Yeah, otherwise you guys are literally just going to keep, because you, it would be way funnier if you could see what my screen looked like through this, but you are just seeing someone basically play a game badly with the perspective that you have, chat. So, Okay. Um, all right, I guess I'm back up on the second floor then. All right, I'm looking it up real quick. Uh, Holge. I gotta get some happy music too. Rage of Wrath, hello. I don't remember this part of the original version of Layers. Yeah, they changed a lot with the remaster. Um, dog door. Okay. There's a fear dog door. Put the glasses on the camera lens? Yeah, but then I can't see out of them. So, <laughs> there, there'd be no point. It would only cover my face cam also. It wouldn't cover the game screen. Okay. Oh, wait, this is for the 2026 or 2016 uh, version. <laughs> Just to show us? Oh, sure. One half of glasses for us, one half for you, the monocle of fear. <laughs> yeah, Chad, if you want to. Okay. POV, you're a charity streamer. And imagine that's as much the gameplay that I can see. That's it. 
That's the only, that is the size of the gameplay I can see. So, <laughs> this is so immersive. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm looking up a... Okay. Okay. Thanks, J Philia plays. Thanks for the, the walkthrough. So that's cat door. Wait, okay. Dog door is okay. Yeah, upstairs. I heard the voice of the dude I just had. A, oh, I, so I'm watching the same one. Okay, so it's upstairs. I see the doll walking along the banister. Turn left. Okay, no, that's the dog house. We already did that. So when I leave dog, when I leave the dog house, that's when she starts hunting, which sucks. Oh my God, it's right around the corner. It's around the corner of the, of the, It's just around the corner of the doghouse. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. I'm just rewatching the sequence so I know where to go. So when I get upstairs, I just go past the banister where the doll is. I run past the doghouse room, and it's going to just be in the hallway there. Okay. Okay. Lots of always look the same. Yeah, I mean, it, which is on purpose, but God, that's kind of annoying. It's right there. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I, can, I can't see shit. Obviously. Where's the game? Where's, wait, why am I putting these on before I'm getting the game back up? Okay. Game. Good. Timer started. Glasses on. Now if I can only remember where the hell I was faced. Dan, by the way, thank you so much for the heads up. Yeah, I think after this segment, I will... Well, I gotta get readjusted to having no eyesight. Okay, she's busy crying. So I think that means I can actually go up. Baby... Is she still hunting up here? I feel like I hear her, but I don't see her yet. Hello? Ma'am? I hear her walking around. Please come towards me. Did I, I, I might have gone up the wrong stairs, I just realized. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh! Wife? Wife? Is that you, wife? Wife? I want to zap her so that I have time to open the fucking door. Oh, wife. I just wanted, I, just the lady I wanted to see. Kind of. Oh, my wife. Promise sign, dog door. Yep. Right there. Hey. Why do you do that? Why do you do that like that? That's silly. Okay, I need her to, to schmoosh a little more intensely than that. I need her to do the full, like, blood on the walls explosion. And then I should be able to run by her in time to grab the... Grab the dog door. What's that dog doing? 
I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'm so scared, everybody. This is just how I play horror games. Do I have to get closer to her to make her do the big shploosh? I feel like maybe I do. Life? Hi. Mm -hmm. Life? You did the evaporate -y thing I don't like that you do. That's like just a very small... Yep. Teleportion. Teleportation. Stop doing that, though. Because I know it means that you're lurking right there. And I want to run past you to open the damn dog door so I can fucking do something in the game. It doesn't involve you anymore. It's not all about you, wife. Alright, fuck you. You know what? I'm just going off that. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Am I okay? I think I'm alright in here. No, the music's still going, though. Why? What have I... But it's locked. Oh, that scared of cat? Wait, that scared off that scared off a cat. <laughs> I thought that said that scared of cat. Uh I was just a little thrown off by you phasing out Yeah, that's fine, babe. I was just thrown off by you phasing out of existence. Anime fangirl, hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. Okay. We found dog door. What? Oh, ah! I can't tell what's going on. What? Are these penguins? No, they're not. I was like, the penguins of Madagascar? Is she just waiting out there, like, breathing? Oh, that's morbid. Dog, why does I hear her teleporting around out there? I can't see shit. What am I supposed to be? Oh. Um. Huh? Excuse me? Don't mess with me. I have the power of... God lantern or something. Ah! That scared. Ah! <laughs> what the? <gasps> Why was that in the corner? Why was that? Why was that little doll? Why did that baby doll fucking uh, spawn on me? Like, that, that was the biblical story of Eve coming out of the rib of Adam. That doll was just, that doll phased out, like, for, like, plorked out of me. Oh my god. That's so fucking stupid. It didn't, like, it scared me in the sense of it startled me really hard. It didn't, like, scare me in a genuine, like, wow, that was creepy way. It was just, I was not expecting a freaking, the, the 3D model of a doll to spawn out of my nipple. Like, oh my god. So sorry to earbuds users, by the way. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Anime Fangirl, for three streams. Holy crap. Alright. Back into the fray. Got eight minutes, and then hopefully I'll be at a save point, because this is shit. This is ass. Okay, door is open now. So I have the cat key now. That sucked so hard, dude. That was so bad. So will she not spawn as long as I'm in here? Baby honey? Love of my life? Okay, so now I gotta run back. Wait, let's map this. So now, I have to, I have to run downstairs. Uh, I have to go, I think left. Once I get downstairs, to get to the cat room. But I'm not 100 on that. But at least now I, I know the cat and the rat room are downstairs. Um, Brookie! Is that Brookie? Brookie! Hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. Okay, I, I can do this, chat. I can do this.
I hear her. Being stupid and creepy. Okay. Back here. Back at it again with the white van. So she'll corner me a couple times here. And then I should be able to sprint past her. Should be able to. Any moment now, she'll spawn. Right here. In this hallway. Honey! We have guests. It's rude of you to not spawn for them. Maybe her spawn... Oh my god, wait. What if her spawn patterns have changed because she we're, we got a key done? Oh my god. Oh, my neck hurts so bad, dude. Like, truly. Holy shit. Uh... Yeah, Yoshi, I, I, I'm aware of where those ones are. I appreciate it. I was just asking for help with that dog door earlier just because, obviously, the conditions I'm in are not the best for navigation. But thank you. I appreciate the help earlier. Did I just hear her pop up somewhere? All right, I went upstairs just to have a look-see. She doesn't seem to like changing levels. Oh! Okay. It's fine. Oh, no. Oh! Hi! Hi, sweetums. Hi, my sweetums. Cat door. Cat door. Sweetums? Oh, there you are. Please explode. Thank you. Okay. Oh! What the shit? What the hell? Fuck off. That could have killed a rat. That could have. You're right. Wow, when you're right, you're right. Uh, these are severed doll parts inside tiny little rat cages. That's fucking awful. I hate that vibe. Oh! <gasps> Oh, my God. Thank you very much. Uh, I got five minutes left, guys. There she was. Very sweet and very, um, <laughs> yeah. Sweet thumbs. Whew. Thank you for clips, by the way. This will probably make it onto the TikTok and Instagram feeds if you follow me there at some point. Um. Uh, Thank you again, everyone, making tonight a very fun night. Appreciate you all being here. Oh, uh, Christmas. If only it were Christmas instead. Okay. Oh, oh. Shut up. Okay, I wasn't scared by you that time. I just was annoyed by you, mainly. Stop. Don't do that. I think that I'm okay as long as I'm in this room, so I just want my lantern to be at 100. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, honey! Oh, honey, 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 honey! Honey, why did you sprint like that? That was fucking disgusting. Everyone at the function said it was the grossest thing they have seen in a really long time, honey. I need you to never fucking do that again, by the way. Exploding is fine. Exploding's alright. Sweetums. She's right around the corner. Honey? Oh, she's behind me now. I love when she does that. She's full of surprises, you know? This many years together, and she still finds ways to just surprise me. It's just so romantic. Oh. Oh.
Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Because you scare me a lot. Did anyone see? <laughs> Did anybody uh, see? Uh, yeah, she was running. Glad you feel better. Thank you. I'm glad I feel better as well. Thank you, great lady. Um, did it save? <laughs> was there a save? <laughs> or did it not save? Was, has, has I ha have I had a save icon on the screen at any point during this? I need to know. Because I cannot do that again. I can't do that again. <laughs> it did. It looked like... Okay, thank you, Brookie. I can't do that sequence again. I'll barf everywhere. <laughs> Her sprinting at me with that funky animation, that really jank animation. Saw the logo in the bottom left. That is a save. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Brookie. Eagle eyes. We could have used you earlier, Brookie. Everyone had no idea what directions I had to go to get through the puzzle I was in. Oh, boy. I hope now that we're in an exploration segment and less of a chase segment. I hate the chase segments. They really creep me the hell out. Uh, the ex I, I have a lot more fun with these exploration segments where you get to like find lore and near the blueberry bush by the emerald creek. Stuff. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Brookie had the brain. <laughs> uh, Brookie had the brain cell. Yeah. Uh, you're struggling with finding the dog door so hard it hurt. Oh on my children. Oh, you're shut. both so sweet. Am I actually not safe from her? Right Please stop. Don't eat kids. Let it be known here. I say don't eat kids. Be an example. Finish it. Finish it. Finish. Maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, I don't have to use that door. Don't worry. You don't have to threaten me like that. Oh, this part of the game fucking blows. They did keep this in. I'm going to let you guys know. I have one minute with these left, by the way. Um, my internet went out on su Saturday morning, and we didn't, didn't expect anyone to come out to fix it till Tuesday. Oh, no. I, oh, my God, Brookie, I'm not worth the data. Um, this scene, when I played the original years back, uh, was by far the creepiest uh, part of the whole game. So, just be ready. I'm not gonna have fun time. <laughs> here we go. Uh-huh. There's not really much I can do here, except... Grab the key. Wind this up. And then do this. And then everything's about to get horrible. Everything's Excuse about... Excuse me? God, Jesus. Excuse me? Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Nope. No Sorry. mommy's here. Mommy? Just the Sorry. worst shit mommy? in the whole world. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember this so vividly. I hate this part of the game. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. Do not like. Do not want. Do not like. Do not want. Uh, please let me off the ride. I don't want to be on it anymore. Oh, that's bad for your head, kid. That's... Oh, God. Ah! I love this part. I'm glad one of us does because this is the worst shit in the whole world to me. Oh my god, the pictures are changing. The walls are changing. The room's changing. Ah, this scene's so creative and so cool. Sure, yeah, we'll go with that. Whatever you just said there. Oh god, I hate this. I'm gonna barf. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. This is the worst. I hate this shit. Oh, everyone's sad because dad has to wear... <laughs> And then, oh no, and then everyone's scary and mean. Ah, it's gonna get, it's so scary. Hush, little baby, the night is stark. Is that what that said? Yep, it did. Oh God, oh God, oh shit. Oh God, Jesus Christ, Christmas, Kringle. Bruh. Ah, ah, Jesus, why would you do that right then? Okay, yep, that thing's coming very close, huh? That thing's coming. Mama used to come touch you in. Oh, shit, I went off the ride. I went off the ride, 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 I went off the ride. Oh, Jesus Christ, I went off the ride, dude. I went off the fucking ride. She's nowhere to be seen. I went off the ride, dude. 
I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, gross, disgusting and weird. Everything's so weird. Everything's so wrong and weird. Everything's so wrong and weird. Ugh. Thank you for the bra <sighs> stuff. Did I get a save point again? Please, please tell me there was a save point. Please tell me there was a save point in any of this shit, dude. It's so terrible. Okay. No, that wasn't that bad, right? <gasps> Wait, what am I doing wearing these stupid things? You guys got bonus time. Thank you to everybody. <laughs> Oh, God, that was too scary for me. I hate that shit. Oh, God. Me hearing the shifting and immediately thinking, oh, no, what did my cats get into? <laughs> Everything was tripping balls. This yeah, very creative, horrible, awful, awful scene. Like, truly. Uh, I'm so glad so many of you love that part, though. Um, good God. Mash this part with the dollhouse in Resident Evil 8. It's been, it would be even better. Oh, God. No, thanks. Whew. All right. There is. This was a special brush, like a horsehair brush, but different. At that point, I hesitated. Will this really work? You got Fuck it. I was already halfway through, and besides, it's not like I can just put it all back and forget the whole thing. That's. Little kid hair, you know, the most normal thing to make a brush out of, as we all know. As we all know. Megathame, hello, hi. Am I numb to fear? Maybe. I'm very bad with horror games. I can handle horror movies and TV shows. Guys, it feels like I'm seeing an HD. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, I, I do great with horror books and comics and uh, TV shows and anime and uh, manga and movies hand them all easy clear them easy um horror games you put me in the pilot seat where i have to control the action where i'm in the immersion where it's built to be scary to the person directly playing them not so much people observing that's when it gets to me that's when it creeps under my skin so oh uh, when i control the horror it is so much scarier yeah when i'm the one who has to walk through the dark doorway to see whatever fucking nightmare shit is around the corner. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's save point. Sweet, sweet save points, baby. The room's looking darker, though. Easy to forget. Sweet, sweet save points, baby. Oh, lovely. That's so nice. I'm so glad we kept that. That's great. Oh, and these, Hello. too. Wonderful. Oh, there's more shit. Oh, because he's breaking up the floor to try to get to the rats. Rats, rats, we are the rats celebrating yet another birthday bash. Okay, I paint. And then that cabinet opens. What do we paint this time? Gross fish turns into the gross face, the beginning of the gross face. And this room is getting less and less safe feeling all the time. So we have two more big chapters of this game. I haven't even played Layers of Fear 2 ever, so whenever we get to that part of this game, I'm going to have no idea what's going on. This I have a bit of a semblance. So first thing was first. We used some uh, skin with some blood on it to do that first uh, coating of... Yeah, it looks like a Fallout ghoul. Um, sort of like a flamingo-looking thing, right? It's what I painted. Then I used bone I dust to use uh, to make whatever the, ne the next painting was. And then this was just blood infusion to paint the weird fish. And then we just used this to paint the sky. Lovely, beautiful. Chat, unfortunately, <laughs> that went on a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So I'm probably going to have to... Uh, call it here it's 2 30 a.m my time and i need to get some sleep so that i don't get another migraine um i have a bit also i don't want to keep screaming because again for those who don't know i have a big voice acting session tomorrow for a game that i'm in 
Um, so I'm going to... Uh, I hope you... By the way, I hope people have been liking this game. hope this has been fun for people. Um, I'm going to uh, have to preserve my throat. It's a weird thing to say. I'm going to have to preserve my throat uh, for tomorrow's um, recording session. But then I'll see you all on Tuesday. I will see you Tuesday. We will hang out. And, and I will be playing Jump King. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Yeah, almost oh boy, 3 a.m. So Jump King will be happening on Tuesday. Uh, and then I will definitely not have a voice after that. Because that game is horrendous for my mental health. <laughs> Gamefully employed streamer has to go do cool work tomorrow. Pfft, fine, yeah. What can I say? I'm problematic. Uh, save your voice. Good luck with your recording session. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, make myself some tea. Sorry that it was very short bit of gameplay tonight and mainly yapping. It is Selfish Sunday. Normally, I tend to yap a little bit more than I game. But honestly, like I said, it does not serve me to not play large chunks of this game. So if anything, me being stressed out running around in circles for like an hour, <laughs> getting chased by the, the wife, it just gave you more content. Um, I have to contractually beat this game because of all the milestones that were already hit this month. So uh, you got plenty of action tonight, I think, as far as uh, seeing me undergo creepy stuff. That was that scene with the with the baby room um, is horrific to me. Not only the implications of like what happened to their child, but like uh, especially with like the weeping mother ghost, but like also just that sequence of it, the the delirium of spinning in a circle and the scene before you that you get brief bursts of just becoming more and more uh warped and twisted and gross and creepy is it's just that's a kind of psychological horror where you don't know what you're gonna see next that like scares me a lot gets under my skin gets in my brain the deep grooves it's nice popping in for a little bit spectrum will not stop me brookie i appreciate you being here at all thank you so much for dropping by truly super fun stream lots of that bug is trying to fly into my mouth uh, lots of wholesome, but also chaotic chats. Yes, thank you for being here. Thank you for everybody hanging out here tonight. Um, thank you for good times. Yeah, thank you so much. I will see everyone Tuesday. Tuesday, in it. We will all be hanging out. Uh, I hope this was fun. Like I said, I really hope that this was fun. Um, I will be uh, very busy the next couple days, but I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever time I can make for the community. So, uh, if you... Um, enjoyed tonight's stream. Normally we do a raid. Kind of sleepy. Maybe I'll I'll just drop you all off and then I'll have to probably bounce pretty quick. Uh, oh, Jordan's still live. Of course he is. He is psychotic. Um, let's see. I'm making sure he is not raiding or leaving. Okay. Yeah, he's doing like paranormal debunking. Which, I guess he's qualified for? I don't know. He has to he has to see more ghosts himself, I say. He has to get that experience. But I guess this is a good way to keep eyes on his own footage. Um, we're going to raid over to Jordan's stream. Let me, uh, oh wait, with the new Gerb emote we have. Gerb love. We'll give him a little bit of Gerb love. All right. We're going to slap over to Jordan. Yeah, we're slapping him back for raiding here. Uh, if you can, if you can't stick around for the full stream, at least stick around for the raid. I'm gonna have to bounce pretty much right away as well. Um, but uh, thank you very much for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for helping me brave the horrors of Layers of Fear again. God, the goggles make it way worse. Tuesday will be Jump King, so you'll get the laugh at me getting frustrated at a very silly little game. Oh yeah, I gotta do raid message. Um, all right, give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, what was that? That jo doll jump scare, though? Oh, man, that was wild. Um, okay. What was I going to say? <laughs> I had an idea for... You know what? Just spam, just spam Gerb Love. Honestly, I like the idea of that. Let's just spam some Gerb Love going over there. So if you have Gerb Love... Just do like, you know, three three to five, something like that. 
We raid over. Please be mindful. Please be uh, kind, awesome representatives of the community. I appreciate you all. Furby ass goggles, they were. So if you got the new Gerb Love emote, thank you again to Slade. Make sure you say thanks to Griffin Slade there in the chat for making this incredible emote, new animated emote for the channel. I'm just spam those when we get over there. Uh, thank you all a ton. Um, you have fun over in Jordan's stream. He's a, he's a goofball. He is uh, mentally unwell enough. You'll probably have a little bit of time with him tonight. Um, but thank you all for uh, following. Thank you so much for uh, the bits, uh, the raid, er, the the raids, the donos, the subs, the resubs, gifted subs, everything that came through. Like, I, it's very rare that I hit the sub goal in a night. So uh, thank you so much for for the uh, twenty seven to twenty five tonight. That's unbelievably generous. Thank you to those who donated to St. Jude. Thank you all for just being great. Hope that you all had a very good time chatting or lurking, no matter what you did. Again, time is the most limited, most precious resource we have. Uh, it is wonderful um, that you feel like you're part of the community here. And I hope that you had fun. I'm very, very flattered you spent part of your weekend with me. Hope you all have a great start to the week. Have an absolutely wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it may be for you. Hope you're the best in the world. You really, really are. Finger hearts as usual. I'll see you guys uh, over in Jordan's stream. I'll start the raid. Please stick around. Like I said, even if you can't, stay for the full uh, the full stream over there. Uh, at least stick around for the raid so we can let a friend know that we support them. Um, I'll see you guys Tuesday. Tuesday for Jump King. Should be fun. I know I've been, like, talking up how much I'm going to rage over it, but, like, honestly, it's mainly funny rage. I normally just say goofy, weird shit like I do during horror games. Um, so that will be... But you'll see, like, true frustration on my face. I will be... This is the type of game that gets to me every year. It will be one stream, and that's it. But I'll see you all over there. Take care of yourselves. Never let anyone tell you that you're not awesome. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.